one, and this Hangout is live. It is gonna be delayed probably like 10 seconds or so. My name is Brock, welcome to Collector Spotlight. It is a show where I have, oh, hold on a second, now I'm hearing myself. I'm hearing myself, oh no. Oh, I, it was going so well until I heard myself uh, delayed. See, I, I, I even pre-warned myself. But anyways, mm -hmm. it's an interview where I have uh, collectors from all over Nerddom, ACBA artists, uh, YouTubers, uh, people that do customs, and I interview them for about an hour and a half or so. We have a good time. The format is uh, we really don't pay attention to the chat, although we are appreciative of you joining us today in the chat. Welcome to Life with Brock, and I'll be introducing my guests in a second. And as I was saying, we won't be getting into the chat now, but there will be a segment at the very end of the show where we're going to open it up and you can ask my guest all sorts of fun questions. Remember, I'm the John Cena of YouTube. I like to drink milk, so we will keep it as PG as possible. But uh, my special guest this week on Collector Spotlight, he's an active YouTuber. He, he started so long ago, uh, April of last year was his first YouTube video. He's got 149 YouTube videos. He's been watched 585,000 times, and in our world, it's a pretty cool thing. His, more, his most popular video has over 38,000 views, and he actually introduced me to the Syndicate, which is a Facebook uh, a, a fan page, a collector page. He was my first YouTube subscriber. Welcome, my guest, none other than Josh Pence. What is up, dude? <laughs> that was the greatest intro ever. Wow. <laughs> What's except, up, guys? Except when I forgot to uh, turn off the volume over here and I was hearing myself talk. Like double talk was terrible. That's awesome. Hey, hey Josh, so uh, thank you for uh, joining us tonight. And uh, tell us, where in the country are you? I am in Ohio, unfortunately. But <laughs> it's uh dude it's it's the whole week that you get every season in one week if you don't like the weather you just wait a couple of hours and it'll change so it's uh pretty discouraging to say the least so i have family in finley ohio how far are you from finley um no idea that's probably <laughs> is that northern ohio uh, bro i don't know i'm in california <laughs> i have no idea i don't yeah. even know are you in the east coast west Coast? i don't, I don't even know where ohio is i failed geography yeah i think i'm probably like a couple hours south of them i would guess because i'm in like uh like kind of i'm an hour west of columbus so the capital of ohio i guess is oh, what that, it is see that that's helpful like i said I, I didn't do too well <laughs> i didn't do too well in geography in school english is my second language that i probably had something to do with it but so my fa i have family actually from my from my wife's side of the family uh she's got a sister and a brother-in-law uh, who live out there? They're, uh, he's a pastor. He's a music pastor in Finley. Shout out, Stephen. Beep beep. All right, but anyways, <laughs> I had those guys when I was when I first started watching your videos, and you were finding stuff, and I got introduced to the syndicate, and uh, I was like, going, man, they're finding all these things. So I in Ohio, so I'm <laughs> like, I, I I had my wife contact your sister, and, and she was searching for me like for the the uh, the Black Series, the uh, the 40th anniversary uh, Black Series. And, that is uh, awesome. Yeah, uh, she found nothing for me, so it wasn't awesome because you, <laughs> you crazy hunters in Ohio uh, gobbled them up. Probably. So, like I was, uh, like I mentioned, uh, let me calm down. Let me calm myself down because I, I'm a little excited to have you on the phone because <laughs> because you actually were my my first subscriber on YouTube. Uh, Dude, yeah, that's which awesome. Is, yeah, it was. Uh, you you were that's my awesome. first subscriber, which is partly why when I think I did like a giveaway when I. Uh, my, my 250 giveaway, I homaged you in that video. <laughs> I showed that to Karina right away, and we died laughing at, at all of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that was oh, But uh, you, you are kind of famous for wearing that beanie that you're currently wearing. I know. Wearing. I, made, I didn't wear it Wednesday on the stream, but I was like, I have to wear it Saturday for Brock because I know people will be asking if I don't. <laughs> I, I wish you would have worn your old school gray beanie, though, the light gray one. <laughs> I had <laughs> Oh yeah, I have it somewhere. I think I got like five new beanies for uh, Christmas, so I've been cycling them out. But, so, yeah. 
So uh, obviously the beanie was your thing. And I think initially you kind of, uh, I'm not sure if you, because I, I brought it up a couple of times and I'm not sure if you got sore at me for bringing it up, but I was like, Hey, it's just like, you know, it's this calling card. It's okay? it, now it is because I get, people say more about it when I don't wear it than when I do. So it's just kind of like, Oh yeah, I guess so. Cause there's a, I watch a lot of YouTubers like Roman Atwood. Um, he wears a hat like every single video. And then there's another uh, YouTuber. His name's Mo Sargi. And he, uh, he's, he's worn a hat every single video and it's kind of just like their thing. So I've just, uh, yeah, I guess I've just embraced it. <laughs> now, uh, for people that, that watched that, um, or that, that saw my advertisement for, for this collector spotlight, we're going to get to into that. Uh, I, figured, I figured, I figured. No, but, but I'm just saying, mm -hmm. uh, one of the things is you have merchandise for your channel. Yes. Uh, I, I, was there a hoodie? Yeah, it's this is the. Hoodie. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not the hoodie. Uh, is there a beanie? No, <laughs> people have been asking about that too. Yeah, I just so I don't know how to get it done. So is you don't know how to get that done. Well, I think you just have, no. would have to buy beanies, and you would have to put your your emblem on it. You may have yeah. to get it embroidered. Uh, I'm I'm good for one of those for sure. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Appreciate it. Man. So you got one. You got one sale if you get those done. Uh, Perfect. That would be me. Even though in California it's like 90 degrees right now in winter, uh, so there's very few times where I need to wear a beanie. It, it hasn't been cold. <laughs> What's the coldest? Is uh, and obviously you know part of the reason that you're wearing the beanie is because it's frigging cold in Ohio. It's, it's like almost like 35. It's it's close to like the high 30s right now. So yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever experienced that. Because it's, so 32 is when water freezes, right? I think uh, scientifically that is what happens. So do you guys get snow where you live? Oh yeah, we um, God, we just had bad snowstorms this past winter where like schools were canceled, delays. We got like four or five inches overnight, and everything would be covered. So yeah, it's pretty bad. But uh, ha has your car? Have you ever left your car? Because I recently saw a video, and I'm forgetting this guy's name. He's a uh, he's a buddy of uh, Casey Neistat. He's one of the you know famous YouTubers oh, that yeah. does beautiful shots but he was in canada is it peter mckinnon that's him peter I mckinnon love that guy. He yeah, he's one of my inspirations yeah he's fantastic yeah. but oh, one yeah. of the one of his most recent videos he was collabing with some instagram guy and they filmed this car that was like a like a frozen it was like icicle it was a mm. car icicle a carcicle that's what it looked like <laughs> does does it get so cold in ohio that your car gets frozen over and you have to take a sledgehammer to, to, to get into it. <laughs> we've had um we've had cold winters the past couple haven't been as bad but i can remember years ago where literally like it will like this is how high it is it will rain okay. and then everything's drenched and then overnight it drops to like 20 to 15 degrees and then it's just, everything's just a solid sheet of ice so yeah uh, so do you, do you have to wear what, like what type of clothing? Because I can't even, I don't have that concept because I was born, first of all, I was born near the equator. Okay. I was born in the Caribbean for crying out loud. And then we came straight to California and I'm living in a part of California with, which is pretty, I'm in Santa Clarita, which is, it's like a desert out here and it's hot. It's like 115 Jesus. summers. So I don't have, yeah, exactly. I pray to God all the time. Okay. Please. <laughs> Please relieve this heat wave, but uh, like, what's the? I, I don't I don't like the context. I don't have a context to work with. Like, what? How's your life and clothing it's, out there? It's bad. We um, uh, where I work, we my dad owns a family business of like new construction plumbing, so we do like all new residential houses and like light commercial work. And when it's cold like that, our guys will you know they'll wear. Long johns, you know, bundle up with jeans and sweatpants, and then they'll wear overalls and then like a big Carhartt jacket over it with a beanie and just like a, a ski mask. So, I mean, it gets pretty bad when uh, it gets this cold, unfortunately. Okay, so when was when was the last time we wear a pair of shorts? A pair of jeans. Uh, yeah. Probably July, August maybe, because it will go from like 70 on a Friday okay. and then by Monday you're in like the thirties. That's, that's how quick everything just changes. Okay. So, so now, yeah. now what I want to do is actually, I want to show you something and I want to, I want you to tell me when was the last time you looked like this? <laughs> um, probably around that date, the 
2013-ish. So, well, yeah, 2013 to 2014, I would say, is when I was like diehard dieting like that. Okay, so let me let me bring that up again because I think I had oh, something shit. clicked off. <laughs> God, dude. Oh, bring that's that up one more time. I think I think the pe the people want to see. Oh, jeez. The people want to see. All right. So, <laughs> and the reason I obviously this was a, an attention getting shot. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, in, in, my, in my best shape ever in my life, I never had abs. So <laughs> I'm a little jealous of that picture. Okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. In our community, yep. nerds typically get fat. <laughs> Am I right? Most likely. Stereotype. Yes, that is a stereotype. Well, yeah, it's a stereotype. Well, I'm telling you right now, uh, I, I've put on about 30 pounds since I started doing YouTube uh, about eight months ago. And because I have an injury, right? But so now... Uh, I think you have an opportunity. Okay, you guys have got, got enough of Josh right there. Okay, you got, like his abs. I want you guys to, I want you guys to see his abs. And now we're just gonna go back to normal mode. Let's let me bring it. Okay, now now we're back up. So Josh, yes, please help us fatties, <laughs> and tell tell me what my diet needs to look like. Actually, why don't you tell us what your diet needed needed to be for you to look like that? Because that's crazy. Yeah, and all okay. So, I will. It might. I'll try to make it a short-winded answer. So well, hold, that on was, hold on a second. Hold on. Let okay. me. I'm gonna start eating. <laughs> mm. I'm drinking mm. beer, so don't worry. Mm. <laughs> I sure mm. as hell don't look like that now. So, <laughs> so cheers. Stop it, Siri. Anyways, um, so that was when I competed because I did do a. Um, it's called a men's physique competition where you go up with like swimming chunks on blah 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 at that point i was eating i think like two dozen eggs a week um i was eating 20 ounces of tilapia per day holy yeah. smokes yeah it was bad um obviously for, for a, a bunch people, of broccoli for people that don't know 20 ounces of tilapia is like uh you're, you're talking about like three or four fillets right uh yeah like at our um, where i bought it from was kroger's and it was like a big family size bag and i would eat one of those every other day okay so it was it was grueling i did a i did a hardcore diet for probably like i would say eight weeks continual with no cheats no nothing and then i was uh doing cardio in the morning eating six to seven times a day okay. i would say and then just just working out obviously but uh i was probably like a hundred and 75 pounds in that picture and right now i'm like 200 so gotcha i'm definitely nowhere near where that how, is but how tall are you about six foot uh yeah like 5 11 probably six five foot. 11. people have told me i'm i'm six foot but i think i'm like 5 11. yeah you can it's okay you can say six foot I, i'm good with that i think i'm like 5 11 i'm, I'm like 5 11 and a half or I, I used to be six two when i was playing baseball you know what i'm saying <laughs> but okay so all right, but in, in all seriousness, I mean that's competition. That's not sustainable. Okay, that's no. that's eight weeks of hardcore diet. I mean, you're taking at the very end there. You're barely drinking water too, right? Because you're not. Yeah. You're not. Yeah. You're, you're trying to squeeze the living heck out of yourself, right? Yeah, you do. You deplenish yourself the last like day or two days. Okay, so uh, now let's say we wanted to start to actually lose some weight, but it, it something maintainable. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend? Because obviously you're not you're not fat. I mean, 200 pounds for you is pretty darn good. That's what I was. That's what I need to get back down to, mm -hmm. and that's a good plain weight for me. I know how to lose the weight myself, but I'm just curious of how would you go about it? Well, I've uh, I've tried to switch my healthy lifestyle up, as I mentioned in in my recent videos, because when I'm like when I, when I look like that, literally, like it was just gym and nothing else. Like I, I didn't go out to eat with family, friends, nothing. So when I focus on something, I'm very like tunnel vision. So about a year ago, I, Korean and I were working out, you know, routinely five, six days a week and we were in great shape. She still goes to the gym, but since I've started YouTube, obviously my focus has been on that. So By the I way, backed away from the gym. By the way, be careful. I think she's in the chat. So <laughs> she's actually sitting on the couch right now. Oh, she is. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up? How you yeah. doing? <laughs> but uh yeah, so I recently pretty much it all 
starts with diet and in the kitchen and everything. I mean, you can you can eat very very clean and barely work out and you'll see big results. So that's kind of what I'm trying to focus on because with her schedule now, she works second shift. So when I get off work, I have both kids. So it's been really hard for me to go out and try to do this YouTube stuff, you know, go out and hunt and, you know, make a video and edit. So my videos have kind of gone down like the, how often I upload, I guess you could say. So now I'm more focused on eating better and taking care of myself in the long run. I mean, cause, oh, what's up puppy dogs? Uh, I can't see them right now. I don't know if you can see. You, you can't. Can you see this big giant monster right here? Yeah. If he falls asleep during the show, you're gonna hear uh, snoring like you've never heard a human <laughs> snore before. Oh, that's awesome. All right. So let's say, uh, uh, give me. And, and I know th this is a collector spotlight, right? So, Absolutely. but I I, I want to talk about. Let, let me keep it on the uh, exercise portion yep. of it right now. Let's Do you it. think it's possible to lose weight? Because mm -hmm. there's some people that are not going to go to the gym, period. Okay. Right. Is it possible to, to maintain a healthy look for yourself and not go to the gym? 100%. Yep. What it, would you it's say? literally, it's, it's, all, it's all your diet. It's probably 70% diet and 30% exercise. Uh, perfect. That was going to be my, my question. So yeah. give, us a, give us a picture of one day – like mm -hmm. what you're currently eating right now, because I believe like based on the fact that you're 200 pounds and it's not like you're, you're in competition or anything right now, you're 200 pounds for, for your frame. Mm -hmm. That's what nerds need to be. Okay. <laughs> if, you're, if you're a nerd, that's about six foot tall. Uh, yeah. You should be between like 180 and 200 pounds. You don't have to be going to the gym. So tell us what one day of eating looks like for you. Um, in the morning. I mean, it's, it's really, relax now because since i do go to the gym i allow myself to to eat fun i guess you could call it but pretty much in the morning i always try to have like eggs and some sort of carbohydrate which sometimes it's just like shredded potatoes or um we have this bread it's protein bread or whatever so we'll eat that or bagels and then pretty much throughout the day it's a mix between chicken ground turkey um sweet or white potatoes rice vegetables uh just pretty much the basic i mean there's nothing like crazy that i eat that is out of the ordinary it's just i eat the same thing every single day almost so it's as long as you have like those core things down i mean you'll you'll be good you'll see weight loss within like a matter of a week or two honestly and eating consistently consistently is the biggest thing so like every three hours just make sure to have some sort of meal because um, it keeps your metabolism up and obviously when your metabolism's up you're burning calories so as long as you keep yourself engaged by eating or snacking on something healthy you know uh, overall even just sitting down you're going to be burning more calories just because you've been eating so much throughout the day and I brought up that picture as you were saying that because I wanted people to to understand that you're you're kind of speaking with a little bit of authority uh, in, in that area. Okay, so uh, guys, listen. If you're a fat nerd like me, uh, you're going to implement this the following week, and you're going to see how it goes. You're going to be a little bit hungry because you're going to be eating a little bit less food than we typically eat. Okay, right. And uh, uh, you will see. <laughs> And you will eat, you will lose, you will lose a lot of weight. Okay, that's my, that's, that was my number one going through there. Wife with Brock, with cat right here. Wife with so, Brock. <laughs> but no, that was that's my my oldest right there. All right, all right. So uh, the fat nerd, uh, the fat nerd segment is over. So Josh, uh, let's get into collecting. Uh, what figures did you get this week? And I'm and I kind of know because I saw your uh, last video. So, but in the event that some oh, of these guys see, um, the main thing that I got that I'm like beyond stoked about is this. Let me try not to get a glare. There oh, we go. Right. Let me bring it up. Sorry. There you oh, go. Oh my bad. No, that was my fault. Go ahead. No, you're good. It's the uh, Mezco BVS Batman, and. Yeah, he's. I already have him displayed. As you can see, the Mezco figures are kind of taking over my shelf area. Um, I think technically this week that's all I've gotten because I got a lot of stuff from uh, the Lexington trip with Foxy. Yeah. 
So I'm still trying to recuperate my wallet from that. But <laughs> okay. I thankfully, as you know, since you watched the video, I did a trade for this, which I was beyond happy about. And, yeah, you uh, scored. I think you scored on that. Uh, I, I what you didn't say. You you very wisely didn't say exactly what you traded in for that. But the guy was <laughs> exactly right. But the guy was willing. He's like you said. He's going to move it. He owns the store, so he yeah. thought he can maximize on his profit. So no hating from me. I by, by all means, oh. fair, by all yeah. means. Uh, that's actually the uh, just a fun fact. That's the first trade that I've actually done with a toy store. And Normally, I, mean, I just go in and buy. But well, yeah. I, I think it also helps that you're advertising for him too. You know what I mean? So he's he's definitely getting his benefit. Yeah, uh, you you definitely bring uh, a following, especially in your area, uh, with you. So, but good for you, man. I I I like the Mesco figures. Uh, but they just don't fit with anything that you know. I have. I had the Dark Knight's Batman, which is an awesome looking figure, but it just it just didn't go. And you know, I had to make a choice. Like right. you made a choice. You you recently <laughs> you recently start stopped collecting pops, right? Uh, yes. I I think I'm down to almost under a hundred. I've gotten rid of about a hundred and sixty pops. I think is my total of what I've gotten rid of, which feels fantastic. Yeah, pop apocalypse or whatever. Yeah. Like, pop apocalypse. <laughs> the pop purge. That's what I've been doing. It's That's been oh, it's been great, man. I uh, thankfully I sold about a hundred and ten of them on the way down to Lexington. So <laughs> with literally, it was uh, we have a place called Traders World, which is like a flea market down here, and it's right off of I seventy five, which we were taking to go to Lexington. And the guy hit me up. He's like, I can meet you there. So I packed all those up, and I think I got like. I got like five dollars per pop, so I, okay. I was going down to Lexington for you know over five hundred dollars, and I pretty much spent it all on that whole haul, and all of that stuff made me more happy than a box full of pops that I forgot about. So I still collect them, yeah. I just don't need two hundred and fifty of them. Man, I, I I hear you. It's a it's definitely a pull because and and can, I'm gonna say a word here that's <laughs> not associated with grown men, but they're cute. Okay, they're. They, they have a certain appeal. They, they go through so many very different um, uh, TV shows, movies, comic books, video games. They have the spectrum. Yeah. And they're just really, really cool looking. So uh, I start. I, I have a few pop. I think I only own nine. That's I great. only own nine. And I want to get rid of some of them. Okay. I have a 40. I, I ended up getting um, – I have Boba Fett and Slave One. Uh, I, and I don't know why I got that one because the one I wanted was the Boba Fett with the rocket, and and I and I got that one. But I so I understand the pull, and it's just Man. oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Got and another away. thing that that really drew, drew me out of them. Sorry if I'm keeping you on one subject too long. Um, but with with how often they release stuff, I mean, during Toy Fair they released like 170 new pops that they're doing this year, and they've released more. It's just I can't keep up. Like, I, it's just it's too much. And the whole stressing out about every con, each pops fifteen dollars. Right. Yeah. I can't go wait in line, so I have to pay shipping. So each pop comes out to like twenty one dollars, and then there's always like four or five that I want, and then it stacks, and then they get crushed because they got shipped, and it's just like <laughs> I'm done. Like I, don't, <laughs> I can't do it that much anymore. So, but Karina's still in it. She's uh she bought like four or five pops over Lexington weekend. Seven. So seven pops. Sorry. Yeah, I think she uh, she put it in the chat. What was the name of the – what was the thing? Something about apple juice or – or is she talking about a drink that she's currently drinking right now? Uh, <laughs> Hold on a whiskey, second. Whiskey just, and apple juice is lit. <laughs> wait, is that, a, is that a drink, Karina, or is, that a, or, is, or is that a pop? <laughs> we drink, I don't know. We drink milk on this channel, Karina, okay? So <laughs> I, let's hope that you're just talking about some character, okay? Yeah, that's what it is. If you want to pop her on the on the stream at any time, go ahead. No problem. Oh, I'm sure she'll want to make an appearance <laughs> at some point. Okay, well, we'll make that happen. I just, <laughs> why, don't, why don't we just transition to that right now? Uh, when you first met her, mm -hmm. uh, did you look like you looked in that picture? Yes, I actually um, – I used to manage gyms. That's what I did before I worked with my dad is I, I worked at gyms and I managed a couple. Um, and I actually hired her at one of the gyms. Mm -hmm. And then it was kind of just one of those business decisions you're not allowed to do 
And oh, I know, Blair. I, I know. <laughs> I, I think I was in one of your streams when you when somebody asked you the question where you guys met. So, oh yeah. Uh, okay. So when you met her, were you collecting at that point? No, I actually. Um, <laughs> well, do you want me to go into that, or is that a different? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, question? absolutely. Okay. Go for okay. it. Um, I think I've been collecting two to th three years. I'll say three years is when I bought my first figure. So there was nothing. I don't even remember. We were, um, I just bought a couple Black Series figures off eBay, I think, because they were like really cheap when I first got into them. And I got them in and I looked and I was like, these are actually pretty cool because we we're at our, our local store and they were on the, the shelf for $19.99. And, and I looked at it, I was like, I would never pay $20 for an action <laughs> figure. And yeah. now look at me spending like 200 plus on one. But uh, yeah, and I just, she like, she's 100% supportive of it. So I, I probably will blame her for most of this because if she would tell me no every once in a while, <laughs> it would probably not happen. But uh, yeah, and it just, she was cool with it. She's like, yeah, and she loves Harry Potter. Um, oh, she digs okay. Star Wars. She oh. uh, she really likes Lord of the Rings. So we uh, we nerd out to some of that stuff, and she's just completely like, go for it, like buy it if you want it, go for it. So okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So if if you're single out there, okay. So you just heard what Josh Josh taught you about working out <laughs> and eating a second ago, and now he's teaching you how to get a girl. Okay. First, you don't tell him you're a nerd. Hey, show him abs. <laughs> And after, <laughs> after you show the maps, then you go, yeah. hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then, you, then, you, then you show them this after the abs. You're like, hey, by the way, I have all this stuff, too. <laughs> don't, don't mind this. It's kind of like the nerd version of uh, what was that one uh, really bad, bad book and bad, bad movie, Mr. Gray, um, the, the Chamber of Secrets in there. What, what, what oh, people, come nah, on. You, what's that nah, movie? Uh, the, oh, 50, the 50 Shades. 50 Shades of Grey? 50 Shades. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've seen that meme about it. You want to see my, my playroom or something? Yes. The girl's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a room full of toys. Oh, man. Well, these, these kind of toys. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. And, then, and, then, and then as you open the door, you're like, may the figs be with you. There you go, yeah. That's a, Shameless that's, plug. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> get, get some of this merch. Oh, I need <laughs> I need a beanie, okay? So, uh, all right. So, yeah. So, uh, you, obviously, you became a, a collector a few years ago, but in your childhood, mm -hmm. uh, what? Uh, you had to have liked the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh. I think you're in that era, right? Yeah, I did. I I played with um, a lot of the the Toy Biz Uncanny X Men, like the five POA stuff. I had a lot of that. Um, my cousin actually had a lot of like Robocop figures, Ninja Turtles, um, X Men. And then for um, for my birthdays, right around when episode one came out, like that era, um, my birthdays, those following years was a lot of episode one toys. Um, so yeah, I've, I've always played with, with toys up until obviously high school, like pretty much 99% of the, the nerd community will phase out around high school just because. Um, but yeah, it was, it's been a thing. I watched the original trilogy when I was super young, like before I can even remember what age I was. I remember watching Return of the Jedi and stuff with my uncle. Um, my parents really aren't super into it, so it was kind of like my uncle's thing, because he had he still has all of his like uh, original Kenner figures and stuff. So it, it's, it's pretty cool, and it's just been kind of a... I'm reliving my childhood now, which I, f I feel like a lot of people do when they start collecting in their older years, because I probably have like 40 or 50 carded Toy Biz X Men figures from like the '90s, just because I love them. Because I remember playing with them as a kid and stuff. So it's kind of where it's all stemmed from. There is I'm I'm buying stuff that I always wanted back then. <laughs> I remember watching your first video when you. Uh, it's kind of like a channel introduction, and you're saying what you're gonna do, and then you actually you were sitting exactly where you are right now, and you're like pointing to the back, and you're saying and you're saying, oh, I collect. This is what I mainly collect. And you said that you had just recently gotten into Marvel Legends, so that's going back to uh, you know last April. Do you remember what was your first Marvel Legend that you purchased? I, I do. Um, I I've only been on this is kind of like taking the long way around this answer, but I've only been on Facebook like toy groups and stuff for maybe like a year. Um, but I used to be on like blog websites like Jedi mm -hmm. Temple Archives um, and like Yak Face and stuff, just strictly for Star Wars. 
And uh, I was going to look at the Star Wars figures and I passed Marvel and I just happened to look over and I saw the Juggernaut brown suit Wolverine. I was like, oh, man. I, I love Wolverine. Like, so I grabbed him and then behind that figure was the Deadpool. And, <laughs> <laughs> and those were the only two on the pegs, which was really weird. Um, and I didn't really know what I was getting. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and get them. You know, these look cool. And I kept them for a while. Um, and then out of nowhere, I think it was after, like right after that video, I went to a, a local toy store, uh, like a comic shop. And they just had like a wall full of legends. And they were like, $15 and there was so many that I wanted so I ended up buying a bunch and it all started when I opened like my first Legends figure because there's so much more articulated than the Black Series um, and I mean I stuck at posing but I just started getting them then I started researching like what other figures used to be in the Legend Series um, I never really messed with Toy Biz at first Mm -hmm. And now, obviously, I do because I I love those figures so much. But uh, yeah, it was a uh, brown suit Wolby, which is apparently a, a very good first figure to find, <laughs> especially I, now. I think I I found that figure. I think in my mind, I think I saw it, and I'm like, I think I'm gonna play the long game on this one. <laughs> Whoops! That was the dumbest thing. And then uh, I then I wanted him because it's obviously the best Wolverine figure made to date and in, in that and you know in the Marvel Legends scale uh figures. Oh yeah. Because you know there was the Toy Biz one that was the brown suit Wolverine that was the standard for the long time because it had you know pretty good articulation. It had butterfly joints. Uh, the only thing was that I, I think that figure doesn't have like an ab crunch like the Marvel Legend does, but it's still a cool figure. I mean, Toy Biz mm -hmm. is, uh, I, I love the Toy Biz figures. What are we, hold on a second, were you showing something there? Let me oh, I was that. just gonna say this, sorry. I forget that the camera's not on. But this is one of yeah, my they, favorite Wolverines, the the older Marvel Legend, the X-Force. Right, yeah, that's yeah. a very nice one. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, and again, you know, I hopefully we're gonna get an updated version. Uh, I'm sure we will get, a, a bunch of these Wolverines. I mean, it's a phenomenal uh, figure. Uh, the mold is. Uh, so, who's your favorite superhero? Um, it's God. That's such a tough. One. I always say Cyclops, just because as a kid that was like X Men. When I thought of X Men, it was instantly Cyclops. Um, I mean, there's a lot of cliche answers I could throw in, um, but I would say Cyclops. I'm just an X Men kid, like. I still, like on Hulu, I still watch like the animated X-Men series from time to time. I just love it. Like that's, that's my jam. It's just it. probably my favorite. So you watch, you know, you're into watching the, the cartoons. Uh, did you also read comic books? Uh, not really, to be honest. I never, I, 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 I hate reading. <laughs> I, I can't, my attention span is so bad. It really is. Like I'll flip through and I'll look at the pictures and kind of like, but Josh, I read ahead of myself. Josh, you had <laughs> You had abs, okay? <laughs> yeah, abs. He he doesn't like reading, but he had abs, okay? Yeah. So that's yep. the big factor right there. <laughs> I know. And, ap and apparently nowadays you have to read comic books to be a collector. So I guess I failed at that part. Well, you know, I go through it. Like personally, I go through it. I mean, I read in the in the 90s when uh, the, the comic books were like making a resurgence because of all the – you know, like characters like Deadpool were being created. Jim mm -hmm. Lee, Todd McFarlane, Eric Larson were all penciling at um, uh, for for Marvel, and then they all left to Image Comics. Rob Liefeld, who was popular at the time too, and uh, it's definitely it's like backstory. I, I guess I, I and I, I don't think you have to collect comic books to be a collector. I think that's pretty that's a, <laughs> like that's, that's a generally ridiculous statement to make. Yeah. But I will say this. And I'll, and I'll give you a Star Wars reference that I think you're going to appreciate. So the original trilogy was is Star Wars, right? And then you had the prequels that came out, and I think it was in early 2000s. Mm -hmm. And the Star Wars community, they thought those films were trash. Right. Like, I can go back and I can enjoy certain things like Darth Maul, like a like super cool character. You had Obi-Wan Kenobi played uh, a pretty, by a pretty good actor. Oh, yeah. Um, I can appreciate things like that. But I didn't come to appreciate those movies until I watched Clone Wars. The series? The series, the cartoon I series. I love that series. That ties the, the kind of pretty much the Phantom Menace and, uh, well, actually all three of them together. All three of them. Yeah, and I mean, it really does. 
because they have character development, right? So I think yes. in some sense, that, and not in some sense, in a lot of sense, that's what the comic books do. Like uh, I'm working, uh, you, you may have seen, I'm working on a couple cable customs. Yeah. And then I went back and I read some comic books on cable and it actually, like for me, it's like, oh, uh, well, and, and it's easy reading, Josh. Okay, it's not like <laughs> it's not like oh, I, you have to have a doctorate degree in, uh, in comic books to be able. To read. But anyway, I, I, it, it kind of fills in that that gap that if we don't have cartoons, and trust me, player, I, I, I'd rather watch the cartoons too. Okay, oh, yeah. I'd rather watch <laughs> cartoons too. It fits that. So your favorite superhero? Let me let me bring it mm -hmm. back. Is Cyclops? Cyclops. Yeah. Who's your number two? Um, cliche, probably Wolverine. I, um, and I, I, honestly, when I when I think of superheroes, I I really think of the animated series. I don't I don't really go off of like current movies, you know, of that image. It's all like back comic y days, I would say. Okay, yeah, I, I'm trying to think of. Who, I mean, my my number one for me personally is Captain America, and I think that's for a bunch of different reasons. You know, I'm from a communist country and uh, Captain America represented the opposite of that until recently where he got Hydra. It's like almost <laughs> wanted to kill Marvel for that. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, uh, so Captain America, Spider-Man for me, I love Wolverine. Uh, I think Cyclops is cool too. Yeah. Uh, but but anyway, let's let's let me let me pause here and let me do some screen sharing because I want to I want to move the the segment and mm -hmm. cat is going crazy. Just want to let you know. I think we've already broken some records on collector spotlights for membership. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah, let me do some uh, screen share and get your thoughts on some of these things. Let me find the window first. Here we go. Tell me when you see him. I see him. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. So this last week. And notice, notice who 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 had the breaking news. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I found it. For, somebody else dropped it, in and I put it in the syndicate. But uh, here's the Thanos. Uh, obviously, Marvel Legends Thanos was critiqued highly even before it came out. What do you think about oh, yeah. this SH figure arts? Um, since it says the picture is for illustrative purposes only, I I guess I can't get my hopes up that much. Um, I know Cincy is a big fan of this Thanos, obviously, over the Legends. But to be honest, I, I'm so-so on it just because I'm not a big uh, a figure arts collector. I think it looks a lot better than the Legends by far. Some of the, uh, the little 12-inch shampoo bottles look better than the, uh, the Legends, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Build-A-Figure, honestly. Oh. And and by by no means is this supposed to be a trash on Marvel because oh yeah absolutely Marvel no. Legends, not at all be, but because Marvel Legends uh, like the Deadpool the Sask Sasquatch wave is a top notch wave oh I I'm so I actually went to two different Meyer stores because uh, in Ohio they've been getting them and both of the stores that I went to today did not have them um, but that's that's a wave that I would buy the the whole wave no doubt about like, okay. I, I love that wave. Yeah, and uh, it, it looks I've, – I've seen it in person. I'm actually I, – I think I'm probably only going to get a couple – maybe get a couple because I am uh, exercising Brockonomics. I was going to say, I just watched your video where you actually found the uh, the, the wave. I watched that again, and uh, you're like, yeah, I'm not going to get any of them. Yeah, I, like, I mean, wow. th they all look good. Uh, I, but I ha but this is about you, player. Let, we'll, okay, we'll talk about you later. Yep. What do you think about the Scarlet Witch? Uh, I think it looks good. I think that's one of the outside of Hot Toys. That would probably be one of the only head sculpts that actually looks like Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks pretty darn good. Yes, uh, I think the black that Panther, looks good. Yeah, yes. Just, the yeah. only thing with these is, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they're going to be a little bit bigger than the previous SH figure. It's like you know, typically the the Star Wars come a little bit smaller in scale. That's what I was going to ask you if if you have because I know you did the the Django Fett review I believe right um, and I've always heard that the SH Figure Arts bodies are, are more petite than the Black Series and Legends you and know I just they are they're okay. they're a little bit on the smaller side but I think uh, you know if and I, they and I'm only going based on the uh, Darth Vader that mm -hmm. uh, Mayfex released because Mayfex and SH Figure Arts are kind of going side by side 
That Darth Vader is the same, just about the same size as the uh, Black Series one. I just wish, at least for uh, like for for me, who I, I love the six inch scale, the one twelve uh, scale for me is the way mm -hmm. to go. It's what I enjoy collecting the most. I mean, I, I got a Kratos recently that's seven inch. I would prefer that thing was a six inch scale. Uh, even though the figure is phenomenal, I just wish, it, like, from I don't know why, but my sensibilities just like, I, and I'm hoping that this is going to be at a six inch scale. But I will, I, I don't, I don't think so. I think they're going to be like at a five and a half or whatever that this scale is. Yeah. Look at this thing, man. See that that looks good. It's just. <sighs> I guess judging from aesthetics, I, I think it looks great, but because I know it's an SH, I I hold something back in in my head of um, don't like it, so you don't have to buy it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but it looks good. He kind of got that like Mega Man gun going on. Yeah, it, yeah, right. So I, obviously, this is gonna be that's a spoiler for the movie. To you know, the Infinity War, he's gonna come out with some sort of ion cannon from, yeah. his, from his arm. Uh oh, some something's happening in the chat. Can you tell what's about? What's what's a wrench do? Is somebody misbehaving in the chat? Do I need to go? I, is that what that means? Um, I don't see a wrench. I think it's uh. Wait, what's 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 the wrench? What's going on in the chat? I, I think I think somebody is, does somebody need to get a. Uh, no, oh, it's it's Iron Patriot being uh, trying to be funny. Oh, it, it's it's not a it's not a big deal. Oh, okay, so it's good to go. Okay, yeah. I don't think I've seen Iron he Patriot make down. make comment on on your stream. We're gonna talk we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. He's my favorite. Oh, oh, that, that, you're already <laughs> answering some of my questions, man. So, All right, back to uh, SHF. Back, back to go. this. Okay, so let's yep. move on to the next one. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, to the next thing, uh, the Syndicate. Uh, George, uh, I like to highlight these during the collector spotlight. Uh, it's the uh, Cindy Picks. It's the ACBA uh, shots or, or a toy photography. And the, this week's winner, and I think he may have been in the chat earlier, James Dew was number one, Eric Eisner number two, and there was a, a tie, uh, Bakim Deem and Javier Rangel. So let's take a look at these pictures. <laughs> that looks awesome. That, that looks that looks awesome. Oh man, that looks really so does. good. Congrats. Yeah, first of all, first of all, that Punisher is awesome. I know it. That Punisher oh, is man. awesome. Yeah. Uh, somebody I recently saw, I think it was Tofu Jesse. He's a caster that he casted the uh, the chest armor. So I may be getting one of these players and making my own Mesco <laughs> Punisher. <laughs> That'd be awesome. This is a cool uh, shot with the the lizard. I want to build that bath so bad. He looks really good. Do you have any of these figures yet? Um, I have uh, Spider Punk, Lasher, and um, Mysterio, and then I have the t I have Gwenpool as well. And then uh, my buddy Andrew gave me the body and the left arm. So oh, cool. all I need is the legs, and then I'm good to go. Nice. Uh, it's as nice as this shot, and then bam! Look at this mm -hmm. one. That looks yeah. Cute. God, I wish I had talent like this. <laughs> I think it was, I mean, these guys, mm -hmm. yeah, posing figures, it, it, it's mm -hmm. an art. Like, this is art. Oh, yeah, that's 100%. Yeah, that's awesome. And then this last one right here is a pretty cool uh, shot that's of evil. Uh, Carnage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. And then moving on over to Open Box uh, Mafia, where Eric, who got number two over there, he has his shot over here. And let's see who won. Oh, he, he came in number one this week. <laughs> he came in number one last week. <laughs> it, I'm starting to think this is rigged. This is rigged right now. <laughs> Just kidding, Eric. I, I think this is a good shot. Let's take oh, a yeah. look at uh, some of the other guys right here. That's oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like Did someone uh, post uh, an actual picture of someone in a Black Panther costume in a box saying they, they got their uh, their Black Panther from Amazon? Oh. Have you seen that picture? <laughs> no. Yeah, I is think that what the, this is about? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. I'm sure that the chat will let me know, but uh, oh I think gosh. there was like a little meme going on when uh, I think when the Black Panther went on sale or something on Amazon, it was someone dressed up in a Black Panther costume <laughs> in, a, in an Amazon box. <laughs> that's awesome, man. I like that. That's probably an homage to that. That's, that's Dude, pretty that good. looks so great. Oh, <laughs> G-rated show here. Oh, G-rated show. 
I'm only showing this because there's a He-Man in the back, and uh, that was the first character there's ever the, dressed up as a Halloween. And the tick. And the tick. Yeah. All right, sweet. And then uh, I, I just I, I see mm. some pretty cool stuff uh, in the internet. Here's a, wow. a diorama. Uh, this uh, Tyler, he he does dioramas, and he goes to uh, what do you call it cons. So that's a pretty cool one uh, with with all the heads here. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Wow. Like who 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 is who did he get up there? That's oh he's got Maestro on there. That's uh, I don't know. Can Deadpool beat Maestro? I see Sabretooth and Venom and Carnage. Yeah. Wow. That, that's that, pretty that is extremely sweet, sweet looking. Yeah. And here's some hauls of people around the internet. Uh this is a pretty good haul. I, I'm jealous of those mysterious <laughs> right there. <laughs> I just want I just want one Mysterio, okay? I, all I need is one. Yeah, Grant's always posting some crazy hauls. He the other week or something, I know he posted the uh, the Black Series SDCC exclusive Boba Fett with uh, Han and Carbonite. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah he's got I mean, he's it's... definitely got the hookups, and this is not scalping. He's uh he's passing on these figures to other people, and obviously, oh yeah, one himself. Yeah, yeah. I've seen him post up a lot of stuff uh, for trade and stuff as well. Which is and, always nice. And then here we have there's a San Jose toy show going on right now. We got some really big yeah. nerds in this picture, humongous <laughs> nerds. <laughs> like really huge nerds. And if and you Jesse, think this is yeah, Caesar. Yeah, Jesse and Caesar. And I'm free, I'm not sure if this guy in the middle. Who is this guy in the middle? Do I know this guy in the middle? I don't I don't know, but let's see some more nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Now there's uh, Joey and uh, Jesse right there, and then finally, look who we got here, Sal yeah. with with Shardimus Prime making it big. Yeah, SOS are killing it, man. Yeah, they are. But yeah. you know what my favorite part about this whole thing is right here? It's this thing right here on the bottom. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, people are. Oh, oh, savages. Yeah, oh, are, wow. People are savages. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so uh, that picture is great because you have you have an up-and-coming YouTuber, uh, Sal Imbroglio. Uh, like you said, they, they started – they probably started sometime last year, and they're, they're I think, at 11 or 12,000 subs. Yeah. And he's standing next to Shardimus, who is arguably the largest guy in our space, right? Or in the toy community. Yeah, he's the absolutely. biggest nerd. Uh, the biggest uh, nerd that has the subs. And you just started uh, last year in April, and you're at 6,500 subs, and you're doing extremely well. So what I want to do now is just take the next several minutes and really pick your brain. Okay. Uh, because, and, and again, it's, it's all relative, right? Uh, in, in comparison to Casey Neistat, your subs are a drop in the bucket, right? But <laughs> right. in comparison to mine or some other people, you've, your channel has grown by leaps and bounds, yeah. and especially in our niche. What, first of all, what got you into YouTube? And why did you start a YouTube channel? Um, pretty, I would, God, another cliche answer. I think I was looking at collections when I first started this on on YouTube and I came across um, people in the syndicate there was Mike the Hunter there was Cincy um, EJG back when he did videos and stuff um, and then I got into Mikey's action figures and then I came across the Essos and it was really those five and Cincy was the one I, I drew to because to be honest he was the first person to ever comment back to me that I commented on their videos um, and with him being like a half hour south of me, um, I was just like, oh, well, this is cool. So I started to think about it more and more. And then um, I, I talked about it with my friend Kenny a little bit about just doing some sort of like review thing. And then um, pretty much I just I kind of just jumped into it because uh, I, I did toy hunting anyways. Um, and he liked more like the review aspect, like movie reviews. We tried that out a couple of times on the channel. Um, but it was really, I, I went into stores anyways and I was like, well, I'll just give it a shot. And I mean, here I am. It's, it hasn't been the, the easiest path and I'm still not like a hundred percent comfortable with, with what I'm doing, but compared to my first video to now, it's, it's completely different. 
Well, and, and what is it that you're doing? Why are you doing a YouTube other than, okay, you're already doing on your hunts. Like what's your, I guess my question is what, like, what's your goal? What do you want to achieve with your YouTube channel? Honestly, I've, I've kind of already achieved what I, I wanted to do in, in a sense because I've gotten countless messages and, and emails and even letters of just people saying like, hey, like I never thought it was cool to collect and then I watched your videos and now I think it's cool. Like, you know, I didn't have anyone to talk to. I didn't have anyone who was in it, you know, like I was. And just, just hearing that alone is enough, man. I mean, it's from here on out, it's just whatever happens, happens. Like, you know, obviously I, I would love to make it a career and, you know, never have to work again and just do YouTube videos. Like that's everyone's, <laughs> that's everyone's dream, you know, once they start to trade on YouTube. You, but that's another thing is people think that everyone does it for money when there's really no money in this at, at our level at all. And um, I just pretty much just want to show, like kind of document my collection in a way. Um, and I've already made great friends. I mean, for instance, Cody, let alone, you know, Cincy, I've talked with Cody for like six months, maybe, maybe a little longer. And him and I have traveled across states just to hang out for a couple of days, like three, four times. So I've pretty much accomplished it, if, if that's even possible. <laughs> So Cody, that's uh, Foxy for real. Foxy, yeah. Uh, are you invited to his wedding? I'm in his wedding. You're, okay, good. I, I was gonna say, bro, <laughs> bro, yeah. come on. I, I know he's yeah. in the chat. I was gonna say, if he's not in your wedding, come on. This is like, uh, yeah, what's that? the bromance is real for with you. I'm telling you, man. Across yeah, it's, state lines. <laughs> yep, it's it's real. <laughs> yeah, it's always a good time hanging out with him. I don't know if you watched our uh, our stream last week or last Saturday. When you guys were uh, tossed? That yes, stream? yes. Yeah, I watched very. part of it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was fun, though. That was, that was fun. <laughs> that, that's it. Maybe you guys should make that a, like, a, there's a Mike Case. He's like a trans, like mainly tra transformer. Yeah, I, I watched about. him a lot. Yeah, yeah. He's he's hilarious. The bots yeah, and shots. Yeah, bots and shots. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> yep. Maybe you guys yeah. should do kind of like a similar thing to figure out how to, how to, come, yeah. how to merge that into your own thing. I uh, just just real quick. I watched him before I uh, before I started YouTube too. I found him real early in his YouTube thing, and he's just he's just such a chill guy. And so like his humor is it doesn't hit all the time, but he's so funny. Right. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah, most of the time, like when he, he deadpans a lot of stuff. Him and uh, I'm trying to remember uh, the, the other the blonde haired guy. I, I his yeah, name super long hair. Yeah, his name's slipping my mind. I, I know it, Eric or shoot, I can't think of it right now. But anyways, they have really good chemistry. Oh yeah, they have really good chemistry back and forth. And I think mm -hmm. you and Cody have a similar chemistry. Bots and shots. Uh, try to yeah. Maybe try to <laughs> make can, that your own thing. Maybe figure something out. <laughs> oh and, yeah. And maybe you guys can even collab with those guys. Hold on, Dude, they would be. Oh, my wife. My wife just uh, just told me that I was yelling. So. I have to. You're too excited. I got too excited. What's that? For the sake of my listener, she's saying because I think I think she's watching the stream too. I oh. I, I apologize from the bottom of my heart, but I there's a, a couple things that um, it's very difficult for me is I I was born a loud person, so yeah. I'm gonna try to use my calm inside voice right now for the rest yes. of the time. So yes. I do apologize for everybody in the chat and any future watchers. <laughs> Josh Pence fans, I apologize because this is the chillest dude right here, right? Because you know when he does his videos, he's like so cool with his beanie on, and he talks I like used this to be. with a smooth, with a smooth voice. So I do apologize for those of you that are not used to it. I will calm myself down. All right, perfect. All right, but let, let me get back to your YouTube channel. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the, I like uh, you were one of the first guys uh, that that I watch. I think I think I may have watched since you first. And then he mentioned your name or he gave a shout out to your channel. And then I went and watched you and you're the one that led me to the syndicate. You probably don't remember because it was over like a year ago or less than a year ago, a little bit less than a year ago. But I messaged you and was like, hey, dude, can can you please uh, help me? Get, because there's like a bazillion syndicates on uh, on Facebook. I want to go to the group <laughs> because what I wanted was I wanted the toy information because in my area, there's sharks over here, bro. There's, oh, there's yeah. sharks. And uh, one of the things that, that kept on popping up is like that you, that he kept on saying that you were the one uh, that would share a lot of the information, that you brought a lot of information and you still do bring a lot of information uh, to the page. And so it's valuable for the community to know, oh, hey, guess what? Mysterious hitting. Hey, thank, by the way, thanks a lot, players. And I'm going to get loud on this one. I don't care. But thanks a lot, players, for letting me know that Mysterio went live 
on uh, Hasbro <laughs> Toy Shop. None. Nobody shared. Nobody. Thanks. Thanks. I see people getting three, and I got I got zero. <laughs> That's the only one I want from that way. Okay, hand over. Ugh. So uh, back to, oh to so your YouTube videos. What I, I really enjoy them, and this is no BS. Uh, I I enjoy how you edit the videos, and maybe Thank some you. people. You're welcome. And maybe some people don't pick up on the little things, but I think when you actually go and you do videos and you're putting, like for example, your your car is moving because oh my gosh, like can we like the same shot over and over gets boring. But you'll do like your your B roll. You'll you'll have your car moving to the. It's like you're you're telling a story right in your car. Your your scenery and it's going to music and you're cutting. You're making the cuts going yes. to music. And what I appreciate is like when you're showing the figures. Like the same, you know. Uh, there's some, uh, and I'm not trying to offend anybody. Maybe, maybe I'm trying to offend one person. But there's some, there's some, there's some really boring ones. They just talk. But but when you're doing your edits, when you're showing your to toys and your music in the background, it's cutting and it cuts and it looks and to me. It's nicer and, and <clears throat> more palatable for me to watch. And I also appreciate you not doing it for an hour and a half. <laughs> I appreciate the nice eleven minute, nine minutes uh, toy hunts. I, I do appreciate yeah. that. That's that's something that I've tried. I, I would say probably in the past couple of weeks that I've tried experimenting with is sometimes it's a twenty minute toy hunt. Sometimes it's like twelve minutes. And I did see your comment about the the music and everything. That's also something new that I'm trying to throw in because to me, as a, a content creator, whatever you want to call ourselves walking around the store and talking about toys over and over and over sometimes i would much rather just like film a couple like pan overs and stuff and then do it all in post production cuz i i personally don't like um to have my videos where it's just toys and music toys and music like i even though you know you are watching it and you know there's a black series figure even though i say oh there's uh jenner so there's darth vader there's this to me i do that because when i watch a lot of videos i watch them at like at work or something and i don't actually see the video i just want i just listen to it mm. so i would much rather hear you know what's going on you know this and that that way if oh oh he found something let me go and watch that video for a second or if it's on in the background you know, someone will, will hear what I've found and if they want to see it, they can come over and see it real quick. But if there's music being played all the time, we have no idea what we're looking at. So that's kind of like my my border of, you know, how often do I talk and how often do I just put music to, you know, showing something. So sure. and, you know, still... and there's no right, necessarily a right way to do it. No. It's just finding how you enjoy doing it, right? Because And then how yeah. your, the, your subscribers enjoy you doing it and i think that's the balance that as you know content creators we need to find it's hard i mean uh, <laughs> dude I, this is a hobby for me i mm -hmm. I, I don't think i'm ever going to get rich at it however player if you guys want a million of you want to subscribe to me and i can go quit my day job by all mm -hmm. means players okay but uh, the reality is that's not going to happen nope. but uh, it might as well as enjoy doing it so what yeah. are you using what are you using to edit your videos um i'm using adobe premiere pro is yeah. that on the Mac? Yeah. Yeah, they have this thing with, uh, it's called Adobe Creative Cloud, where you can pay monthly. Um, so it's just like a month-to-month -month subscription thing. And I think I pay like 20 bucks a month for it, or you can pay like 50, and you get everything that Adobe offers, like Photoshop and After Effects. But, man, I used to edit on iMovie, and all because I couldn't put a picture up on the screen and have yes. it sit there in iMovie, yes. I, I went to Premiere Pro. <laughs> And I, I edit very, very basic. Like there is uh, so little that I do with my edits. It's it's sad. Right. Well, but but at least I mean you're you're trying to do something artistic. Like like we yeah. mentioned with with the music. I used iMovie too, and I I did all, I've done all my videos except for one. The like the the one that you I think the one that you said that you saw that the Sasquatch wave. <laughs> that was the yeah. first one I edited, and it took me forever to do because I was. It's not easy. It's not easy, you know. It's a pretty big learning curve, and I'm using Resolve 14, and it's for the okay. PC, and it's a free. Actually, it's a free program. You can pay for the pro version, but Brockonomics play. Uh, <laughs> no, this guy. <laughs> like, but it, I see there's another Cuban, and at least one more Cuban. Yo camino los codo. I walk on my elbows to save the soles of my shoes. If you know what I mean. <laughs> exactly. All right. Oh man. 
So let's say there's somebody that's watching, and I know you've had this question asked. What do you let me? What do you attribute your success to YouTube? Let, what what's the difference between you that started in April, and you know you have 6,500 subs, and someone like me that has less than that, a lot less than that? What do you think distinguishes your channel and the way you go about doing business than other people that you watch? God, I I even ask myself this. I ask everybody this. And a lot of what it comes down to is I guess I'm relatable. I don't know. I mean, I hate to say that, but I'm going to try to, you know, be, you know, like from a 30,000 foot view and not be conceited. Um, but I took my influences from like daily vloggers like Logan Paul and Roman Atwood and stuff like that and kind of just I don't know bring bring the energy sometimes I mean I'm no I'm not the most hyped up person on YouTube but just keeping it fun keeping it fast paced you know a lot of the jump cuts you know here to there no dead air you know that's another reason why I talk when I'm showing things um, and I know there's a lot of people out there that don't even like to see the person's face. They just want to see toys and that's it. But that's just not what I'm about. Um, so th to be honest, man, I, I really don't know what, what separates me from even someone like S the Essos or Cincy or this and that. Cause we're all kind of like doing the same thing. Cause Sal and Braulio, they're, they're very cinematic with their stuff, you know? A lot of times they have their time lapses in the beginning and, and their videos are real quick. You know, we're in Walgreens, we're in Walmart, we're in Target, and then now we're done. So they they kind of get to the point and, and since he does the same thing, his his style is completely different. He uh he does a lot of his, his car footage. Most of his talking is done in the car. Um, and then he very quickly goes over the toys, but then he gets back to his talking points. So I think that's successful for him because he's got a good balance. He talks in the car. And he shows it. He doesn't show you what he picks up until he's back in the car. So you kind of have to watch him talk, per se, in the car to see what he got. And I don't know. I think that's that's kind of what hits his little niche. I think he's got that at a very, very good balance. Um, you know, I think I have a good balance of I talk too much, and then you got to watch till the end to see everything that I got. Um, but I, I think overall just the editing and stuff. I mean, it's I've preached about this many times on my live streams when people ask this, it's, it's, it's storytelling, you know, and I've, I've told a lot of people that, and a lot of people have kind of understood, you know, you got to get to A to Z the best, quickest way possible in this day and age, you know, especially on the internet and everything. I mean, look at Netflix. They, they have a button to, to skip the intro. That's um, new. I love that feature. Yeah, I, lo I love exactly. that feature. I love it. <clears throat> exactly. So that's, that's kind of my, my thing. And, I really don't know what separates me, man. I don't know how I've gotten so many subscribers. You know, I don't know how I have, you know, I've gotten recognized more than I can possibly imagine. I mean, we're in a Toys R Us in Lexington and someone comes up and is like, hey, you're a Josh Pence, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, dude, I watch your videos all the time. It's just like, okay, cool, man. Like, it's just, it's surreal. And I don't, I don't know why people are so uh, enthused by me or they... They enjoy watching my videos, but it's um, yep. And Cody just said Josh with the A one rant, so now that means I stop. <laughs> <laughs> he has that power over you. Come on now, player. Go ahead, keep ranting. Keep ranting. No, this is, but this is your. I love talking about life. this, though. I mean, I I love just I don't know. I just like talking about information. I yeah, guess well, you could say. Here that th here's why I think it's important. I think uh, uh, other YouTubers need to, especially in our our, our niche. I I personally I've said this to other people. I'm getting. I've personally gotten bored with the regular hunt and don't get me wrong. I still watch mm -hmm. them, but there's just, there's so many of us doing it the same way. And I think when we start doing things a little bit different, we challenge each other like, Oh shoot, look at that jump cut. Oh, look, he's using this. Oh, that, that's a, that, that's a good idea. Maybe I should try to implement that. And it makes, it makes what we're doing. It's kind of like an iron sharpening iron type of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, like a healthy, not, not necessarily maybe a little bit of competition, but kind of like a like a like spurring each other on to make <clears> better <throat> videos, the hunt videos. And here, I, you know, I haven't made one in a while because I've, I'm doing <laughs> other things, and there's only so much time in the day. Even though yeah. when I'm, you know, it, it's just there's not enough time to do all the different things. 
but I think it's good to talk about it. It's like, okay, you know what? Maybe maybe we should try uh, this now. Like, hey, bro, your video. Hey, listen, plastic, <laughs> bro. George, I love watching your stuff, but bro, just a few minutes, just a few minutes shorter, bro. Just, just a few, just one little edit. <laughs> just, just one little edit, and I'm just uh, teasing George because he's the oh, one. Yeah. He's he's bar none the guy that I hear over and over and over again other people say i don't care how long his videos are i'm gonna watch every single second of exactly that. and that's his niche like he has right. mastered that style of a video because like you mentioned before his energy i mean it's always 10 with george no matter what time it is it's always 10. so i mean he he nails it he, i mean he's branded himself as a high energy funny dude no matter if it's a, a 20 second clip in someone else's video or if it's an hour and a half video of his, it's always top notch. And I love watching his old, old, old videos. They are hilarious. Uh, do you have <laughs> anyone in mind right now, a video, any specific video in mind? Honestly, okay. his, coll his collab with um, Mike the Hunter. The, I think it was his first collab with it. Is that um, the one where EJG is in the back, in the back seat? Well, maybe it's not as for it's just with him, Mike and Mary, when they went to uh, it was pouring down rain and they went to the, the toy shop is when plastic forgot Mike's pops that he's been holding on to him for like months. <laughs> and um, they, they ended up going into a, a store and there was this this big DC figure. And I remember George just like flipping out about it. I, f I forget what the figure was, but that's that's probably one of my most memorable videos, like old time of, of George and Mike. Excellent. All right. So now we're kind of the last YouTube question is and it's the standard one I ask, especially the popular YouTubers. If somebody wants to start it out, because there's let me see how many people there. There's almost 70 people in here watching right now and they want to know, hey, I, I want to try this YouTube thing. <clears throat> Tell them step one, step two and step three of what they have to do. What they have to do? What they um, have to do. <clears throat> I would say um establish a game plan with what you want your channel to be don't just say i want to do toy hunts i mean you really need to break it down and kind of get a grip of what plan you know one two and three is with your channel because it's not just going out and recording your toy hunt and then coming back putting it on your computer editing it and then uploading it and then number two you kind of have to find yourself be yourself with it i would 100 percent say um and then that's that's overall how you brand your channel you know the one and two kind of work together and honestly step three is just be consistent and precise i mean if if you don't have a lot of time from the very beginning say hey i'm i'm posting every wednesday you know at, at this time i'll have a new toy hunt that's why i do every wednesday and saturday is my live stream you know it's been that way for months you know every wednesday and saturday i'll always go live whether it's for a half hour for an hour and honestly people actually kind of look forward to it yeah player i know all about those saturdays time <laughs> that's, slot. True. I, that's true that's i gotta true. pick up i gotta be, i gotta pick a better time slot that's for sure i know that for a fact now <laughs> uh, not this week though not this week no this week i'm i'm, I'm good to go this week <laughs> okay so now those are the three things and i think the number two is definitely be yourself obviously you know you're going to emulate some people like i did uh, when mm -hmm. i first started I, this the people that i started watching but then you you can't like I can't be Josh Pants I can't be you know plastic addict I have to be myself right, right. because otherwise you're just going to be frustrated enjoy something you do so I think that's very good advice okay now give me one or two don'ts don't do this YouTubing don't go <laughs> um, visit Japan Logan Paul don't <laughs> yeah, don't go to Japan um, wait two reasons not to do YouTube or two reasons you don't do on YouTube don't do on YouTube don't okay don't do um wow on the spot uh off the rip personally i would definitely not bring negativity on yourself by voicing your opinion strongly if that makes any sense you dang know? it okay i'm done <laughs> i failed i failed already no but i just because i mean there's just some people and that's not even with the, to the toy hunting thing i mean you see it all the time on on youtube news or whatever is you know, people just wanting to just call someone out or call something out, you know, like you mentioned earlier, because I said something about the build a figure Thanos, you're like, this isn't a bash on Marvel Legends. I mean, because literally that 
five second clip of me talking could mean that I absolutely hate Marvel Legends and it's yes. I think it's the worst thing ever. That's why when people say, Oh, I heard you're out of pops, you know, I don't not like pops, then that's not what I'm saying. I think all pop collectors are cool because especially in this community, I think everybody is is very sensitive for what they collect and what they like. So if if someone doesn't like it, then they automatically don't like them. So right. that's why I always pull back. And I think that's really just the number one is don't explain yourself and 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 don't you know be so negative at something because of your opinion because if you're on this platform you're putting yourself out for potentially thousands of people to see so you kind of have to watch your p's and q's and just kind of just be nice <laughs> as hard as that's going to be on the internet um and then number two is just uh don't uh, re refer back to number one. That's what my number two is going to be. I think that's really, <laughs> yeah, I think that's uh, a great advice. Uh, people are sensitive because it's a personal, I think it's, you know, it's a personal thing. It's, it's part of who they are, right? It's this collecting thing, especially some people, and, and this is how I rationalize, some people are embarrassed, right? When I have 100%. people coming in here for the first time and they don't know me, I'm always concerned. I'm like, oh gosh, because I can't hide it. I, we have a small house. It's right here. It's in my living room. Life with Brock right here. And they're going to walk. This is my living room. room. Yeah. See, <laughs> it's like, dude, who, who is this guy right now? Oh my <laughs> right. gosh. Should, should we be concerned? Are they, what do they, at least they have a TV. Can you imagine if I didn't have a TV? It's like, oh, real weirdo. real weirdo. But you know, it's a personal thing and it's something that we really enjoy. And I think that's just a, an attachment to, you know, to our childhood. A lot of us, uh, exactly. Again, some of the, some of the people understand that we're born in third world countries, like I was, <laughs> coming to the United States and having the privilege of walking into a Toys Toys R Us and just being wall to wall. It just becomes part of you. Watching cartoons, guys. Two channels in Cuba, one for government and, one, and the second one for baseball. They had one good, okay, and the baseball channel was good, but there was there was no cartoons, there was no toys, and, and I, you know that's hyperbole, okay? Right. But, but so it becomes part and, and then people they have different reasons of why they're attached to certain things. And I think that's why they so hold it so dear. And, you know, yeah, I don't like certain figures. And I'm not like, for example, I can't collect those those cheap twenty dollar transformers anymore. I can't I can't do it. But yeah. if you do it, I'm not going to be it's like, OK, by all means, hey, bro, that's, that's, awesome. that's your money. And that's what yeah. you enjoy collecting. Whatever. Exactly. No, no problems with me, but there are some people that are, you know, uh, I like the term <laughs> snowflake. There are some. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that word. But there are it's... some snowflakes, boy. Well, it's kind of like, you know, backpedaling, which, again, I apologize. It, it comes to the term of uh, when someone calls something a grail, even though it's it's two weeks old and, and everyone wants to jump on and be like, that's not a grail. You know, it's brand new. It's on the blah, 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 blah. Like, it doesn't matter what a grail is. If, if a certain person loves that figure so much they want to make it their grail item go for it you know let them call it that they don't need just because it sits on the pegs in your area it's not a peg warmer because the right. other side of the country may never see them <laughs> and i think that's where people really get offended. i know what you're referring to <laughs> i'm just saying I know what you're referring i'm to. just saying hey josh i just want to let you know that that you motivated somebody a lot with, with your abs Jetta Patrol says he's watching live from the gym right now. <laughs> yeah. Make make sure to, to pull to your hips there, Ryan. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. All right. So now we've reached a segment of the show that I like to call the rapid fire round. And it's I, I'm going to give you a choice, either A or B, and you're going to say the first thing that comes into your mind, okay? Oh, God. Okay. Are you ready? Absolutely. Marvel or DC? Uh, Marvel. Deadpool or Wolverine? Wolverine. Dark side or Thanos? Dark side. Avengers or Power Rangers? Mm, uh, Avengers. Do you fold or do you hang your t-shirts? Uh, hang 90% of them. Country or rap? Rap. Figures or comics? We know that answer. Figures. Live streams or your vlogs? <laughs> Live streams. Ice cream or kale? Uh, ice cream. <laughs> you you hesitated on that one, Josh. I, I, I was like, you. I was like, what's kale again? Yeah, <laughs> I <didn't> think quinoa. <laughs> come on, player with those ads. Okay, All right, okay. good. And so that, that that's uh, now we're going to move into a section, just a really short session, and then we're going to open it up to uh, live questions. 
This is awesome. This is the troll section. No, oh, Jesus. So you do you do have your fair share of trolls because I've I've seen it and I've experienced it live. Uh, watching your streams, you definitely get some people saying just the like the craziest mm -hmm. freaking things. Um, <laughs> that's, I guess that's probably why you need that wrench, right? Uh, is yeah, that what the yeah. wrench is about? Yeah, I got a lot of moderators for my stream. That's that's amazing. Yeah. And uh, so you got trolls. Do you remember who was your first troll? Honestly, no, I don't. There's uh, I got quite a few on um, on my comment section in my my videos about just just random stuff. There's a uh, there's been a lot of very, very mean comments, and a lot of them correlate with Cincy. A lot of people think that I'm trying to be the next Cincy nerd for some reason. I guess, I don't know, a lot of people are are jealous that I actually get to hang out with him and talk to him on a daily basis. I don't I don't know, but that's, that's where a lot of it stemmed from, and now oh, it's just okay. because of dumb stuff. It's just, uh, oh, you collect toys. How are you getting girls? And... <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we already talked about that part, okay? Re <laughs> yeah. Please refer to the, the picture with the abs from earlier. And that's, oh, a, that's, a good start. that's a good start. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of it is, okay, because you're based in Ohio and you happen to be, you do collabs with uh, Sensi Nerd. And obviously, and certainly because he had a larger channel, he's helped your channel kind of like oh, you, 100%. You've, dropped, you've dropped other people's names, like you've dropped my channel name and I've gotten uh, a few subscribers from it. And, and you do that constantly, constantly. I've seen your high time on your live streams. You you spread the uh, the knowledge of the nerd world, uh, especially oh, yeah. other, other YouTubers. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's anything else you think that you get trolls from? I, I, I get the whole uh, the jealousy uh, from from Cincy. Yeah. What what else do you think you get? Why do you get trolled? Oh, because I obviously because of the beanie, because I wear a beanie all the time. Because <laughs> um, I got a, a, a big ass forehead, because I'm nice. I'm balding. I mean, all the stuff that yeah. I've heard, it, it literally doesn't hurt me anymore because I already sure. know it myself. Like this was happening way before YouTube, so it's just internet stuff. And then a lot of people, I don't know, man. They just they like to go personal with something right. that's materialistic, and right. I, I just let them at this point. It is what it is, man. It's just. But I've made men's with a couple of people um, that have supposedly not liked me in the past. And I just reach out to them and be like, look, like, this is so childish. You know, we need to just chill. We need to just, you know, be cool or be not cool. But why do we have to take it personal? Because to me, like the syndicate and the renegades and open box and any other toy community out there, people go to these pages to feel comfortable. And... If if anyone is is making fun of someone else or attacking someone else in a different group or in the same group, just because they like a certain thing, like that's not going to help this this nerd culture spread. You know, people keep saying that toy hunting is going to be the next biggest thing on YouTube, and it's it's growing at a rapid pace. Well, it's not if people keep bashing people for doing the same exact thing they're doing, but just liking something else. You know what I mean? No, yeah, I completely so understand, and. Uh, so you know the 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 troll the thumbs down or whatever that yeah. it's human nature not to like that because you you know a lot of times like well why the heck is you know what why right yeah but uh, I think I think a lot of the stuff and you know we had another I had another guy on here uh, 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 James Dew who who he gets a lot of like hate and I think a lot of it stems from uh, the medium that we have to communicate mm -hmm. and what I mean by that is you know we're First of all, let's just talk about uh, Facebook. You're typing. Uh, you're not even having. You're not even having an interaction like this. And right. even even this for the people that are watching in the chat, you know, they're not getting to interact with you. I'm the one that's getting to interact with you, and they're just kind of uh, like coming along uh, for the ride. So mm -hmm. it's a very impersonal um, Facebook. So a lot of things that are written can be misconceived because we don't, you know, you can't perceive the thought. You can't the intention, the facial, you know, the non-verbal uh, gestures that, that we communicate on a daily basis, we lose that in Facebook. Right, there's no yeah. context, you know, behind of what you're saying. Right, so like what yeah. you said earlier, even a video can be taken out of context, at, you know, you take a snippet and then just, you know, people will run with it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I know that you have your 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 fair share. I Like I said, I, I wasn't, <laughs> I, I was in, a, in one live stream in particular, I was seeing this and I'm going, 
you've got to be kidding me because <laughs> I guarantee you, you would think twice about saying that to his face. Like literally like, not, not that you're like some ninja or some ninja killer right. or something like that, <laughs> but, but it's, it's different when you're actually, you know, not behind a, a keyboard and you're actually talking to another human being face to face. It's like going, ah. Well, and, uh, and the fact, Josh, I, I'm sorry. And I'll let no, you go you're good. You're good. Because I'm kind of ranting right here. And the fact go that if these people actually knew you and hung out with you, they probably 90, let me say 95% of the time, 95% of the time would have a different thought. Well, that was exactly what I was going to say is the few people that I've reached out to and said, Hey, let's just squash this. Cause I don't know what problem you have with me or whatever, but let's just, let's just go. Like we're both grown adults. And honestly, after we get done talking, they're like, you know what? You're actually not that bad. Like you're pretty cool. I'm like, like, just give me a chance. Like, if you don't like me after we have like a one-on-one -on -one discussion, right. then cool. Like it is what it is. No, not everyone's going to like everyone, but that's the thing is it, <laughs> it kills me when people just start with that punch and they have zero idea who you are as a person. And I think it's a big thing in this community, you know, get to know the people. Cause there's a lot of people who are afraid to say, I like star Wars, let alone have flipping shelves full of toys. <laughs> I mean, so it's that, that's pretty much my main thing is we just, I know we all can't get along, but we definitely need to kind of support one another gotcha. in, in, in the long run. Yeah, I agree. So yeah. who's, who's your favorite troll? I think you said it earlier. <laughs> oh, Iron Patriot. He's unfortunately, he's not a troll. Oh, he's okay. actually, he's actually a really good dude. I'll be a, uh, cause uh, Cincy, uh, Toy Bills from Instagram and Sal from the Essos and then Kyle Phillips from the Cindy Comics. We are all going up to C2E2 and Iron Patriot actually lives in Chicago. <laughs> um, so we're nice. going to meet him there, but him and I talk on a daily basis. He's just, he likes to push the envelope. Yeah, he I likes, gotcha. <laughs> he, he likes to be a troll, but he's really, he's really like the funniest dude. Um, there's, there's a couple of my favorite people that don't like me, but you know, we already know who that is. So. Oh, we do? Uh, do you want to blast? No, I'm just kidding. We, we want to blast. That would just I, I just said, don't put, don't put your opinion out in a negative way. That's, that's true. Good point. I have to remind myself of that, too. Uh, I'll, I'll just keep playing the nice guy. That's the, the, the most natural thing for me to do. But I do have a mean streak inside me, and I'm sure you do, too. A little bit. We'll just smile right through it. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So we're, we're at, at the end. Uh, in the toy community, mm -hmm. Uh, and I ask this question to everybody is, you know, what, what do you want to be known for? Mm. Um, outside of being known for wearing a beanie in every single one of my videos. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I just want to be known as just a normal guy that just likes toys and likes figures. Like I just want to be someone who's relatable because I have people who watch my videos that are much older than me and that are much younger than me. And both of them gave me the same feedback of your, it's just a down to earth person. Like that's another reason why I like to do the live streams is because people feel like they're really talking with me, you know, a couple nights a week. And unfortunately last week people have said, Hey, it actually feels like we're sitting there having a drink with you. But you know, no one really wants to do that at that level. That was, <laughs> a little it was a little excessive. <laughs> a little stream. Yeah. But I mean, just to get to, did you, to you wake up back. like this? Did you wake up like this the following morning or? We actually woke, uh, we woke up and we had no idea how we went to bed, but it was all good. Oh, <laughs> it was bad. That's why we posted, Cody and I both posted in the syndicate. We were like, we're alive. And everyone was commenting like, oh, good. Like, what happened? Do you guys remember anything? And we're like, nope. Like, it was. But to, to roll it back, I just want to be known for just an everyday dude. And, I mean, I like to interact with every single person that wants to talk with me and I just kind of want to be relatable, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it does. I, yeah. I absolutely. And I, I agree. I think that's why uh, I think that's part of the reason of your success, because people feel like like they know who Josh Pence is yeah. uh, just by watching the videos, which, you know, a, a lot of people like I, I watch some some of the bigger YouTubers, you know, uh, like some of these bigger guys, they're not constant like that. You can't be like, ah, like, yeah, you know, it's, it's just, hard. Because you know that their second take is like, ah, and then it's like, uh, and they're going off. So I, I definitely appreciate that you can kind of tell like what you are, what comes across in the videos is most likely. And we can ask Karina, where's she at? Is he like that? Is he like that at home? Is he the same <laughs> on his YouTube as he is at home? I'm actually more outgoing outside of YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry, Josh, that question wasn't for you. <laughs> for Karina. 
He wants to know if I'm like this outside of YouTube. Like what? Like yeah. outside of YouTube in my way. Put it on. Put it on. He wants you to come on here. I can't. It's it's delayed. Okay, we'll come here. Okay, come, just. Yep, come, she's coming just, here. Just, just do it. Just do it. Yeah. So he wants to know if if how I am outside of YouTube is the same as when Hello. I'm on YouTube. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm um, talking to your dude right there. Yeah, I would say he's. She didn't pay attention. She's not listening. Are you listening? Yeah, in she's real listening. life, um, he's a little more reserved in his videos <laughs> than daily life. So <laughs> you guys keep breaking him out of the shell, and uh, he'll open up a little bit more over yeah. time. Then I my believe. subscriber count will go down. <laughs> nice. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Yep. You can you can go now. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Appreciate a special guest appearance. Uh, uh, are you guys? Uh, when are you, are you guys married? No. When's the wedding? Uh, uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Well, you're going to you're going to your boy's wedding here pretty soon. Uh, you're going to be in his wedding party, right? I think yeah. it's only going to be fair that yeah. he returns the. Well, I think it's a sign because this will mark two weddings in under a year that I've been in. So oh. I, th I think. I think obviously I'm next at some point. Oh, yeah, you're so, next, bro. You're, yep. you're you're ready. You're ready. You look <laughs> ready. You're re you're ready to go. I, yeah. No, it's just a funny thing because last uh, last week during that live stream, someone asked the same question, and Karina's is like, "What's engagement? I have no <laughs> idea what that is." <laughs> so, <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. Very Cheers. nice. Okay, so we're expecting uh, one of your fig hunts. Uh, have you planned how you're going to? No, I'm just kidding, Josh. I'm not going to ask you any more questions. <laughs> regarding that. We'll, we'll move on. Is Good there point. anything that, uh, so this is the last question I'm going to ask before I turn it on, over to the chat. Is there anything that wasn't asked that you feel like you want to that you want to answer and get off your chest while you have the opportunity? Um, no, not really, man. This was actually, it was way more fun than I thought it would be. Um, <laughs> what are you? I what didn't... are you saying, player? What are Dude, you saying? Was, I wish this could be like like a monthly thing. This is awesome. <laughs> um, but no, honestly, it's you know it's pretty much the the whole YouTube thing. Going back to that, just because it seems like that's a popular question with me. Uh oh, what's going on? I'm laughing because Lego Logan zero eight says, "Thank God, finally." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I have feelings too, bro. Come on, man. But um, the whole YouTube thing and, and the whole success, I just, I, I'm, I don't even know if I could call it success, but a lot of people always want to know is how did I do it? Pretty much the answer, guys, I don't know how I did it. I don't know how this happened. Um, it, it's, it just happened, and I was persistent, and I was consistent with my videos, and I started with with quality, I guess. I don't know. And quality as in the video quality, not the content quality. Because that was a major thing that I started with, and uh, uh, that's that's pretty much it, guys. It's just let's get to these questions since the people are jumping at the bit. And, yeah, no chat. kidding. So uh, we're gonna <laughs> let Lego Logan ask the first question, okay? Yeah. And so this is how it's gonna work, uh, Josh. I'll read them to you. Go for it. That way I can still uh, interact, and uh, we're gonna go for for uh, for a few here because mm -hmm. I, there's let me see uh, we have 71 viewers and i'm sure there's a lot of questions so uh we're going to start with lego logan art i see your question and if you guys can do me a favor can you put question in caps at the front so that way i don't miss you if i miss your question just make sure you copy and paste it and because i'm notorious for missing these things spam the questions yeah, i apologize i apologize ahead of time <laughs> I, I will miss your question all right here we go so I'm waiting for Lego Logan. We're letting him go first because he called me out. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. So Lego Logan. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm still letting Lego Logan. I'm waiting for him. He said he had a lot to, a lot of questions. He, Lego Logan couldn't wait to get me off here. So it's your chance, player. I think I know what he's talking about. It's something he's, he's, he said he sent me a picture on Instagram of some figure. So I think that's what it is. You know, Instagram recently did an up, update. Oh, here we go. Lego Logan. Josh, did you get the picture of Dutch? And thanks for letting me go first. And I didn't mean to be rude. LOL. <laughs> forgiven. <laughs> You're forgiven, player. Um, I have not looked at my Instagram today. So no, sorry, man. But I will after the stream just because you brought it up here. No problem with that. 
Adam Durar asks, may the figs be with you beanies. And we talked about that. So we, we need to make that happen, Josh. <laughs> it's, apparently it's, it's a hot commodity. I use Teespring for my merch and they don't have beanies. So I would have to find beanies to buy yep. and yep. then pay for the printing. So it would definitely be something that I have to take orders on before I even did it. Yeah, you'd have to do pre-orders. Yeah. Because you could be <laughs> out so a lot of money. Uh, yeah. The uh, uh, art unboxing art, Josh. How do you feel about people who put out super short review videos just to get the review out there before others? Example: Mikey's action figures. <laughs> What's happening here, Art? <laughs> I think uh, on a, on a YouTube note, I think it's fantastic because he blew up after that. He got, I think his videos were hitting like over ten thousand views in a day, yeah. and I know he went up like a thousand subscribers. So, I mean. To be transparent, which I always am, I've done that before. I'll find like when I found the Black Panther wave, I recorded that and I came home and I talked enough to where it was a good amount of a, a video, and then I put it out, and then it got like six or seven thousand views in the first day or two. So you gotta do it. This is all a hustle. YouTube is a hustle, and if you're the first one to get it, pop it up online, instant, instant views. So I commend those West Coasters. Yeah, that, I think that's smart too. If you if you find the figures first, plus I want to know that the figures were found, and uh, yeah, they, true. He, yeah. he has YouTube as the medium that he's going to express himself. He also has the Renegades. Uh, now he's got the Renegades uh, Facebook group, yeah, which used to be the SoCal something or other that I was in yeah. also. Uh, but uh, by the way, thanks guys for uh, inviting me to your hunt, <laughs> Sal. <laughs> Uh, Spar uh, Spark Spartacus Bringer of Rain asked, uh, my question for you is, I know you've seen some of my videos on my channel because your comments on some of them. What can I do to make them better on what you've seen? Um, oh, God. I'd have, to, I'd have to watch one now to analyze it. But overall, to make anyone's content better, it's keep doing what you're doing and then rewatch it. And then if you would watch that whole video from zero seconds to the end of the video, then then just keep keep doing it keep plugging away at it i mean that that's really it it's it, it's hard for someone else to tell you to do something because i don't know the context the context of what you're trying to come across for that video so just keep plugging away and i watch my videos back like before i upload them i'll watch them and i enjoy them so that's why i upload but if if you find yourself not being able to get through your own video then mm -hmm. you need to dial it back and kind of rethink about what you're trying to convey through the video. What, what about his image quality? Is How's his image quality? Um, I, I don't remember. I think okay. it was fine. I mean, there's really no potatoes being shot anymore. I mean, everyone pretty much has good quality cameras nowadays. I Like, this is what I walk around with. This is what I use. And not everyone is going to have something like this. Oh, like, that's big. Oh, my bad. You're probably that's not even on That's right what now. she said. <laughs> that's what she said, yeah. So this is what I've been using for my hunts recently. Um, but I know a lot of people use their camera. And nowadays, a camera is, I mean, a, a camera and a phone is just as good. Hey, so, Josh, bring that back up real quick. Can you just uh, quickly talk about that camera? Yeah. I'm no uh, Jetta Patrol because I know he's a big camera nerd, and I don't want to get, uh, um, I don't know, re-corrected by him. But this Look is the a size of that mic. <laughs> this is a Canon 70D. I resemble that. <laughs> Jesus. Just kidding. Go ahead. That was PG 13. Sorry. I started drinking more than milk in that one. This is a, a 10 to 18 millimeter lens. So it's more of a wide angle lens. And then this is a Rode Video Go mic. Um, it's just like a shotgun mic. So if you're behind it, you'll barely hear anything. But if you're directly in front of it, it's obviously better. Um, but I used to use the Canon G7X, which is like a little point and shoot. And I went back to this because I love the quality of it. It's just so much better. And Karina thankfully bought me this lens um, right before our Lexington trip. So shout out to Karina on that one. So it's how made much, me use this thing, man. How much did that, that whole rig cost? Um, I think the body is like nine to eleven hundred. The lens is three hundred, and then I think the mic's like sixty, so fifteen hundred plus. I would say. Uh, I, I think Iron Patriot asked, uh, or oh, somebody Jesus. asked, oh, no, no, it was it was on me. He says, when am I going to get abs? Uh, probably never, player. I'm in my 40s <laughs> right now. 
<laughs> unless unless I get on some of that, you know, <laughs> stuff. Uh, it ain't gonna work. Uh, let me see. My next guest, uh, it's gonna be Eric Eisner. I was gonna say that later, but Eric Eisner will be on next nice. week. Um, okay. Do you get a lot of stares? AZ Legends 480. Do you get a lot of stares or questions when people see that camera in stores? Um, I get a lot of stares. The the only store that I get questions in is Walmart, and when I'm walking out with it, they're like, "Do you have a receipt for?" It? And I'm like, "Well, it's mine." And they're kind of like, oh, "Okay," <laughs> and then they just let me keep walking. But if sometimes if you pay attention, like when I'm in a store and I'm filming myself, if you look over my shoulder nine times out of ten, there's always people just staring. <laughs> like, well, because when you have when you have a rig that big, they they think mm -hmm. it's like something news worth, you know, something news, somebody's who's filming something. It's not like on your phone. I think the phone is obviously way more discreet. But yeah. when you're, that, that's a big one. Yeah, sure. it's, but it's, uh, yeah, it's worth it in the long run. I love the quality of it. Yeah, that does take very nice uh, footage for sure. Nugi Rasjid asks, any regret on picking up a particular figure? Um, yeah, absolutely. There's probably, I mean, I have totes full of figures that I just, I don't even remember what I bought. My biggest regret um recently is probably when i pre-ordered the Jin or so on toys r us before rogue one came out so i paid like 25 dollars for that figure and you can ouch. still find her <laughs> yeah ouch um on my first force friday when the force awakens came out i bought constable zuvio at retail <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a bad purchase right there yeah bro. yeah yes yes sir player um so that's yeah just stuff like that man and that's another thing of advice for, as a YouTuber going back to that completely off topic is if you're doing toy hunting, be patient when you're buying your stuff. Don't buy it just because you're recording a video or you think that you need to because I've done that in probably like the past year and I am so thankful that I, I wait on some figures. So, yeah. but yeah, but to answer, I've, I've bought way too much stuff that I regret. Darren Thompson. If you had the opportunity to choose any character into a figure, who would that be and why? Um, off the top of my head, it would be a Black Series General Grievous figure. That would probably be like my number one right now. Um, just because we need more of those Star Wars characters from the prequels. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, do you know Kelly Dorsett? No. I. He says, trying to think of an interesting way to propose to my lady. Any advice, Josh? Um, I, I, would, I would refer to that to Foxy for Real and, and take her to a, uh, a vacation on the beach and propose to her on the balcony. That's what I would do. Nice. So now Karina knows if you're ever going to the beach. <laughs> now she knows. Yep. You gave it away. Spoiler alert. Yes. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, let me see. Lego Logan. Here we go. Uh, uh, he uh, question for me. Hey, I appreciate that Lego Logan. You're redeeming yourself in my eyes right now. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do collect Black Series. I made a, a top ten video player from the. Go check it out. Life with Brock is right on here. And, and Josh didn't know uh, you were red and thick like Ben Swallow. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, um, I'm gonna have to start reading these. I'm gonna read these questions before I say them to you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Troy Roach asks, what stores in Ohio are your favorite to find the figures you really want? Um, lately, Meyer has been a sleeper store, is what I like to call them. Um, they have gotten a lot of figures earlier than other uh, – you're, you're throwing me off when you start laughing at it. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> it's just like, oh, God, what am I missing? <laughs> no, you'll, you'll get it all, player. You'll get it all. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Meyer, pretty much, man. It's uh, I think it's kind of like north of Kentucky to Michigan is where those stores reside. Um, but they've gotten the Metallic Power Rangers before pretty much anyone else. They're getting the Deadpool wave on our side of the country before anyone else. And uh, the Black Panther Wave showed up there first. Memphis Dale. Uh, Olaf Memphis? versus Thor. Who wins? Uh, I would probably say Olaf, just because he can kind of like use the snow to regenerate as long as it's in a good environment. Right? Wait. Uh, <laughs> are we talking Olaf right from uh, Let It Go, Let It Go? I think so. Thanks to Cody on that one. Everyone uh, thinks I love Olaf now. That's awesome. 
No, it very much is. CB2K uh, encourages me to build the abs to represent us elders. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am. I, age is relative, players. I, I am yep. old in this conversation for sure. And Josh, how old are you? Um, I am 27. Oh, my gosh. You're a millennial. What's that, millennial? You're a millennial. Uh, yes. No, mm. am I? Yeah, people call me that, but I didn't know that I was until just now. Yeah. Yeah. I hate and love millennials. I have a love-hate relationship with millennials. Right now, I'm, it's, it's all love. I think uh, you're the one who told me I was a millennial. I probably did. <laughs> yeah, I think you did. That's funny. Uh, unboxing art. If you had to have a conjoined twin, would you prefer Shardimus or Sean Long? In the event you don't know what a conjoined twin is, that's oh, I know attached. that. I'm just trying to think of who I would. I have no idea. <laughs> well, uh, I think I think you'd go with Sean Long because he's got tattoos, and you don't want to throw off your feng shui. Yeah, right? okay, we can go with that. We can go with that. You're welcome. I, I helped. <laughs> Thank you. He's got tattoos, so he probably uh, likes uh, that answer as well. Yes. Iron Patriot. Hold on. Is this even a question? Hold on. Is it? Here, it's worth you. I'd stare at a guy too if he was filming me. Like, dude, I'm just trying to buy Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, oh my God. Cody's asking about Brockonomics. Uh, I, I have to edit my video. I, I do. It's it's ready to be put out. I got a few weeks worth there. Some gold stuff. Uh, Foxy, no, I thought that was a question, but he probably knows everything already. Mm, pretty much. Like Like that birthmark. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, Adam Durar, how many kids do you have? I have three, and they all want to play with my figs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have two kids. The little man, Parker, is three, and Riley is seven. Yeah. Right? Yeah, she's seven. Have they broken any of your figures? Um, no, but they have completely trashed some of the, the figures in boxes. Oh, no. What? Yeah. <laughs> Like one, any specific ones that you go, oh my gosh, I want to beat this kid. <laughs> no, um, they've smashed some of the pops. Uh, Parker has took one of Karina's pops and ripped open the back and got the pop out. Hey, just stuff like that. So you, you know. should have them join Open Box Mafia then. Because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lego Is call it DeRosa. That isn't that the, the thing? Oh the yeah, Mark, Mark DeRosa. DeRosa that, yep, yeah, Mark DeRosa. Uh, did, yeah. Uh, yeah. Lego Logan asks. Uh, uh, what is your favorite Legends and Black Series so far of 2018? Legends of... Um, my favorite Black Series so far of 2018 is probably the new Captain Rex and Rey. Um, and then Legends. I haven't really even gotten any new figures of 2018 yet besides uh, Spider-Punk and Lasher, but I'm excited for the Deadpool wave. That I'm very... Did you I get Black those. Bolt already? No. Okay, so that he's a really good figure in my opinion. It's done very well, but you should wait because he's all over the place, and uh, you can find him. You'll you'll find him at Ross sometime. I think he's going to warm the pegs for a little bit, but it's a really nice looking figure, even though he's on the uh, Bucky body. Yeah. And, and I think uh, if they end up doing uh, some more Inhuman stuff, and that mm -hmm. that gets popular, he'll he'll get popular as well. Uh, I need to read this one. CP two K says I would. This is in reference to how he would propose. I would take the chick to a petting zoo, and right as she is petting the bristled mane of the common goat, you tell her the following: "It would be bad idea if you don't marry me." <laughs> <laughs> oh oh gosh, uh, Fig Life Miami. If you don't do it for the money, why do you care so much about subscriptions? Good question. Um, I don't think I've ever said that I don't do it for the money. Ever? I mean, yes, I I, I do get quote unquote paid. Um, I care about subscribers because it's more people that I'm reaching, I guess you could say. Um, but if, I don't know if, if Fig Life makes any money off of their channel or not, or if they, they monetize their videos, but you don't make a lot at all. So just because, I mean, I could literally have 200,000 subscribers and still getting paid the same that it, it's all about views. It's not views, about subscribers. Yeah. People, even people with YouTube channels, they still don't get that through their head that, it doesn't matter how many subscribers you have. It the, how you get paid is how many times someone watches your videos. So, I don't I don't know. So yeah, I mean, if I can get paid for doing something that I'm already doing and I love it, let's let's do it. Like sign me yeah. up. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it'd be great if it paid for the hobby, right? You're yeah, putting content I mean, out, that'd be fantastic. Because let me explain, I guess let me go into a little more detail of that. Because this is another big thing with trolls and, and this and that. And um, is, is people think that us YouTubers do this for, for money, per se, but they don't realize that on a typical video, you go hunt for four, five, six hours, you come home, you edit for two or three, you wait for it to render, you wait for it to upload. I mean, you're literally spending close to 10 hours for like a 15 to 20 minute video. Yeah. So if you can make a couple of bucks off of it, I mean, why is, why is that so bad in, in the public's eye? Oh yeah, it'd be definitely a, a more of a moneymaker. Oh, I see. I took the, this off, and I am I am yelling. Oh my god! I, I apologize to my family. That's terrible. That's horrific. No wonder my throat's hurting. I, I was at the top of my lungs. But uh, you know, I I could go work uh, overtime and make a like a boatload of money compared to what I do if you know if it's just my hobby time. If I transferred my hobby time to working overtime, I'd be a rich man. <laughs> Yeah. Ocelot asks, would Karina kill me if I kidnap you for four days for NYCC? Um, if it was all expense paid, no, she would not kill you. All expense paid? <laughs> paid. Uh, Dr. Pest, is that, have I been back to the motherland? No, I have not. I have not. Been, I was afraid that they were going to keep me there. You give me an American embassy, and then I will go visit. But give me an, like a, an established American embassy. Not like they had uh, for that movie, 13 Hours. I need like a, one that's very protected, that, I, that it feels like the United States of America. And that's how I go back to Cuba. You can pose that question to Fig Life Miami too. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me see. Iron, hold on. Oh, darn it. Where, where, where did it go? See, this I'm kind of surprised with Fig Life's question about that. Because I, I thought we were like cool, but it kind of seemed like a little dig. So it's I, don't not, I, don't, I don't think it was a dig at all. Because I, 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 I don't think I've ever said I... I do no, because you said money. no. You uh, it was based on something you said earlier. I don't think it was. Oh, okay. Okay. No. Cool. And and have you if you've watched any of their videos, those guys are always clowning too. So. Oh no, I know. I yeah. I mean I've watched them since I think before or when they first started a channel. Because him and uh the the bat Alexander. Alex, yeah. Yeah, they used to comment on my stuff all the time. Let me see. Or maybe it was a dig. Say if it was a dig or not. Uh, yeah, I would just. People, yeah, it, it is what it is. I don't really care. I, don't, I just. I don't think it was, but let me see. <laughs> Iron Patriot says, "Leave a like, please." Brock is an awesome dude. <laughs> Hashtag certified fresh bio. Bill Oh, by Iron. Fresh by Iron. <laughs> nice. Hey, one of the things here. Here's a, one of the things that you mentioned earlier. You mm -hmm. have to have somewhat of a thicker skin because when you do YouTube, because you are kind of putting yourself out there, but yeah. you also have to have a sense of humor. And I like to laugh a lot. I like to laugh <laughs> a lot. And uh, and you know when I when I poke fun at someone, let's say if I if I poke fun at you at your beginning, that wasn't really poking fun. It was just like bringing it to attention. I guess could be poking fun. It's right. done at least when I'm doing it. It's done from. Um, and this is what doesn't necessarily carry across into Facebook. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it like out of fun. I'm just razzing another guy, and I expect the razz back. I, what I don't, what I, you know, these snowflakes that exist out there is when they kind of clown on you, and then you kind of give it back, and they, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden they're, yeah, they you know, kind of drop. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Unboxing Art says, what was the first figure Karina bought you? Also, how did she feel when she found out you were a collector? Did the abs win her over? <laughs> uh, the first figure Karina bought me. Do you remember that? Yeah. She, uh, we were already together when I started collecting, so I was never technically a Wow, I'm yelling too. Um, see, that's what happens when you hang around with a Cuban bro. <laughs> She, um, yeah, she, she, we were together when I started collecting, so it was completely fine. But she, yeah, I really don't remember that. That's a good question. Damn. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm, let me see. We got a lot of questions. Yeah. Uh, they're going back and forth. Okay, here we go. Michael Dodderman. Ask, are you self-taught on YouTube? Uh, I would, I would say yes, just because I didn't really know how to edit until I did my first video. I just knew C was cut, 
and then you delete what in between, and then you just you just keep going. Yeah, that, that was uh, iMovie is really easy to edit. Yes. It's, it's uh, the learning curve is very small on that, and if you guys have that, uh, that that's the thing that you should use. Uh, I mean, if you have a more powerful program, your learning curve is just going to be like I'm. I'm a little bit overwhelmed uh, to do the hunt videos now because I've committed to to edit it on the computer, and it's uh -huh. not easy. It is not easy. Uh, let me see. Uh, thanks, Troy. I appreciate that. Uh, they, they, they enjoyed the he enjoyed the interview. He said it was fire. Uh, <laughs> Darth Imperium, do you have any favorite toy related childhood memories? Um. Just getting the uh, the episode one figures for my birthday. I remember freaking out because I got uh, the little Naboo. It was kind of like Naboo's version of uh, the Land Speeder with Qui Gon Jinn. And oh god, you're laughing again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. You know what? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, I can't even. I can't even do it. Let me see if I can just. Okay. I'm, I'm straight faced for the rest of this. Uh, <laughs> just uh. Just getting the episode one figures uh, right after I saw them for my birthday because my birthday is in June and I believe they the movies came out in May back then I believe I don't know maybe I might be wrong about that but it was right after uh, the movies came out my birthday would come up so I used to get all the cool toys so that's pretty much my childhood memory on that one. Unboxing art asks who is longer winded Brock or Josh? <laughs> that's a that's a good question. I, you know what? Uh, I, I'll, I, I think I take the cake, especially since this is a collector spotlight on Josh. <laughs> <laughs> this is just the conversation at this point. That's awesome. Uh, oh my gosh! So oh, funny. Ah, uh, golly. All right, <clears throat> I probably missed some question, guys. Just put it back in there. Uh, Adam Durar says, first memory of opening an action figure." Uh, well, that would go back to as a kid. Um, so I don't really have great memory of that, but I actually did a video recently for opening figures. Um, I unboxed like, I think like 20 some Marvel Legends figures. And that's kind of when it all started, when this all started. Cause I used to be like only inbox and very little open. Um, and then once I started having all of these legends opened up, I was just like, well, it's time to just start collecting legends and opening all of them. On that shelf, which is your more, most expensive? This is my question. What's your mm -hmm. most expensive legend on that one? Or the harder to get? Um, that beast, I think, the, the one that came with the coats, not, <clears throat> not easy to find, right? Yeah, that comes in a five pack. I think it was five pack. Um, just off the top, the, the harder ones, I would say, I have the, the Toy Biz Doc Ock. He's off frame. Yeah, yeah. I have that one. Um, that beast is hard to find. I would say the Nightcrawler is, is kind of up there. He's. And then um, that Gambit, he's the one that came in the five pack as well. He has the the soft good or the the leather coat, and that's pretty much it. I don't have too many um, toy biz grails. You could say I have two uh, build a figure apocalypses. I guess that would be a, a hard one to find. Uh, do you have the one the black version or the darker? Um, no, they're both the blue versions or the whatever the normal versions. That's cool. You'll be able to make a scene here pretty soon with uh, that bath that's coming out because it's it's smaller than that build a figure. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for that whole wave. That's one wave that I'll probably just end up pre-ordering so I know I don't have to worry about it. Who's uh, who's in that wave? I think they've announced um, the Magneto, the red and black suit Magneto, um, a Sabretooth, a Bishop, yeah. a Storm. Omega uh, Red? Is Omega Red in that yeah, one? Yeah, I think Omega Red's in that one. And then, um, good lord. I forget the other ones. I'm Doc sure Oc? people. I know there's a Doc Ock, but I'm not. I'm not sure if he's in that wave. Yeah, there's I'm a, new... a little disappointed that they said that the Doc Ock it doesn't have the the bendy wires in the tentacles or whatever. Yeah, you call them. That, and I think that's been confirmed, which is disappointing. But he still looks good. Oh yeah. Uh, I had a thought of of maybe getting some of those uh, Sentinel tentacles, or mm -hmm. you got to be careful saying that word. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> tentacles. You got to enunciate yeah, tentacles. that. Tentacles. Tentacles. <laughs> uh, he also comes with the Omega Red from the Toy Biz. Uh, yeah. And that would be the way to go. But, you know, using that as the bendy wires for those. Is the is the one from Toy Biz, does that have the bendy tentacles? Yes. Oh, man. Let me. Oh, man. If. The way that I have this posed is his uh, his arms are wrapped around like behind other figures so it can fit or else I would bring him on camera. 
Hey, can you show me that red sun Superman real quick? Can you bring him out? No, I'm just uh, kidding, Josh. I'm just oh, kidding, Josh. God. I, I was like, got that. him. I'm on the spot right now. I got to do it for Brock. I was like, I'll try. <laughs> I heard you saying that was hard to pull out the oh, other day. So. That's what he said. I, yeah. I've been watching The Office. I've been watching The Office uh, for the second time. It's, it's super funny. Uh, Cody Spring, something I was chatting with Brock about today that I never really thought about. Do you prefer comic book figs or movie figs to collect, Josh? Well, since I do not read comics that much, I would say movie figures for most things, but I would say like 90% of my shelf is comic esque figures yeah. like the Jim Lee Cyclops and you know the Nightcrawler obviously didn't look like that in the X Men movie. So right. yeah, all those toy ones are going to be comics, right? Although, so I think unless I'm they didn't no, I would say so because like the uh, that Magneto. And the the saber tooth, obviously that's not how saber tooth looked in the X Men movie. So, I guess I like collecting comic figures for like the main characters, because um, some of these ones that come out, I have no idea who they are. It's like Songbird, I think, is is one of the the new. Yeah, ones. she was the fan. From what I understand, I did, I didn't really know who she was, but I, I, that, the fans voted on that figure. I don't even know where the heck we voted. Uh, I didn't know. About it. <laughs> I didn't vote. I, I think uh, to to understand. Uh, when that's happening, you have to be involved in, in like a Marvel legend group, and mm -hmm. those guys, you know, uh, they'll they're the ones that keep up with stuff like that. I don't know if we have any people in the syndicate or OBM and other groups like that that would. I would like to know. I like to vote on stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. It's kind of like the uh, the whole Jaina Solo. They voted on that one as well. Yeah, I uh, I was pretty in tune with with that because I also did the the vintage collection is coming back in a couple of months. Thank thank the Lord. Um, and, and we voted on the the first wave and the first character that they're doing with that. So I think it's it's nice that they do that. I just wish they would allow more than one winner. If we could vote for a whole wave, that would be awesome. That would That'd be that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I, apparently, Cody does have a question. Cody Foxy for real. He wants to know what's your best moment or of your YouTube career so far. And if it doesn't involve him, you can't be part of his wedding anymore. I was I was just gonna say, well, I have to figure out something that involves Cody. Um, I don't know, man. I he didn't I think, say that, by the way. I added that. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite moments would probably be sharing my Star Wars collection. Um, because for one, that took like probably the whole day to set up and film. Um, that was fun, just showing everything that I that I own at, at that point. But the most recent one would probably be our live stream last week. And that's not, that's not being funny. That's yeah. serious. That was the funnest three and a half hours ever <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> it looked like fun. Oh my god. Uh, what's your most expensive fig, and what's your Grail fig? Um, that's Az was, Legends. Az Legend. My most valuable figure is probably this, the Celebration Luke. Oh yeah. Whoa! Oh, you don't have that. You don't have that in package, bro. You got to. Protect that thing. I have uh, I have two. I have one in the in the case or whatever in a protector case. So, yeah, I don't know why this is sitting down here to be honest, but this is probably my most valuable figure. Josh, that's gonna be your your daughter, or your son, and the guy. Hey, daddy's fig, open. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's, oh, that's gonna be it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and what was the other part of that question? Uh, I wish I, I remembered that. No, I think that was it. What was your that what was your 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 moment so far? Your favorite moment so oh, far. What's my Grail figure? That's what oh, it yeah. was. I'm sorry, you're right. I, I I'm an old man. You can't ask me short. I'm bad short term memory. Wait, he said, "What's your most ex expensive fig, bro?" And what's your? Oh, he was asking me. Yeah, I think so. Uh, uh, my it's got to be one of my Transformers. Uh, probably, probably like a, like one fifty to two hundred dollars. Yeah, if, if I have figure. anything worth more than that, then I need to put it in a safe. Yeah, because that's yeah. that's too pricey for one specific. Yeah, like item. hot toys. You don't have any hot toys. Um, I actually have one complete hot toy, which is the first order stormtrooper, and then um, someone sent me just the ray. I think. Can you see her? Right. I, yeah, I there. see it up there. Well, hold on, yeah. hold on. Let me bring you up. There you go. Yeah, she's right there. Someone sent me her. It's just her in general there's no staff or bb8 or anything um he he actually sent me that just so i could see how the hot toys the, the actual people 
look and not just like troopers and they look awesome i just don't have room for stuff like that <laughs> unfortunately uh fig life miami uh, agreed with me he wasn't talking trash it was something you had said earlier that okay well there goes my short-term memory because i completely forget what I even so, said. i'm like the peacemaker over here that's why i'm oh, tied no. up with, you know, I'm like dr brock Dr. Brock, Dr. Brock. Uh, Troy Roach, a uh, question for Josh. What is the Marvel Legends wave are you disappointed in? Any of these waves that you're disappointed in? Um, I think the one that I, I wouldn't say disappointed in, but the one recently that I'm not excited about would be the Infinity War wave. Outside of the Taskmaster, which I think looks awesome, I just... I think I'd be more excited if it wasn't going head to head with the lizard and the Sasquatch wave all at once. But that's just, that's, I guess the one that I would be disappointed in is just because they're so generic figures, I guess you could say mm -hmm. like the captain America and the Spider-Man and the Iron Man. It's just like, okay, we've seen those plenty of times. You want some kinda, new characters. Yeah. Yeah. So I would, I mean, if I had the infinity war and the Deadpool wave side by side, I'd pick Deadpool. Cool. All right, Josh. Now yes. I need you to pay attention to my words, and I need all our uh, viewers, sixty-four of them that are still in here, oh, God. talking too much. And it's not. <laughs> to, but talk, Josh. The more Josh talks, the more viewers we get. The more I talk, the, the more viewers we lose. <laughs> so, Josh, you said yes. earlier that you hated reading, and that's why you don't read comic books. Yes. Have you heard of the Tattooed Toy Hunter channel? Absolutely. I joined his live streams. Excellent. Did you know that that man recently started a new series, comic book series, that you can learn about the comic books and actually not read them because he will discuss them for you? Wow. I did not know that. Or I did not pay attention to it, I guess. So, so go I will be now. Go, go <laughs> check him out. Kevin's a good dude. Uh, Kevin is a good dude, and I interviewed him a couple collector spotlights ago, and I just saw him in the chat. And he said, yeah. "Someone give me a YouTube shout." <laughs> so I just did. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I think I, uh, him, and unboxing art. I believe I was on your stream while I was doing my stream. I think I was in your comment section while I was still going live. I thought that was so funny. Oh it man, it was like Inception. Yeah, only, a little bit. only different. Only different. <laughs> uh, Kyrus says. Brock, would you like to dress up and cosplay in your videos? I think that would be cool, brother. Um, maybe, maybe when I'm thinner, when the thinner version of me comes back, maybe I'll dress myself in some cosplay. <laughs> Josh, have you ever done any cosplay? I have not. I have not. Is that something you would you would do? Or maybe if, think, if you're going to a con. Um, I don't think I would be able to do that because with how perfection oriented I am. I know that the, the super cool costumes or cosplay things cost like buku money. And like like the 501st, like all those people that, that oh, did yeah. like the, the real Star Wars stuff, it's yeah, like thousands. Did. I'm like, yeah. good Lord. No, so. I'm talking about, you know, maybe we can do something like what Joey did, dress as Doctor <laughs> Strange. <laughs> oh, I would do that, yeah. Like I would do something fun. I, I couldn't do like a, a real Like legit cosplay. Thing. Yeah, no, that would be. I think it would be fun, though. We could probably, uh, kind of like Halloween. We thought about going as a Star Wars characters for Halloween and having, like, Parker on my back as Yoda. And then I, I try to be Luke Skywalker with a beanie or something. I mean, it could work. <laughs> Foxy says he went up two subs since the stream. Thanks, Brock. Uh, you should probably thank Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're, they're, probably, they're probably some Josh's peeps. But, hey, you're welcome. It's your turn to shout me out, player. Foxy for real. <laughs> All right, let me see. I think I read that one. Fantasia y Realidad God number one. You two really good guys. Good to see you. Likewise, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Uh, Iron Patriot says, I'm so tipsy right now at a burger sounds good. Oh, my God. IP. Rabbit Hammer says, Larry King, Brock, and go. Be Larry King, Brock, and go. Got it. <laughs> Uh, Iron Patriot says, Josh and my birthdays are three days apart. Same year. Hashtag fake twins. <laughs> See, this right. is what I'm talking about. He's just, yeah, he just but, keeps going and yeah, going and going. You know, well, uh, uh, A.S. Reyes does the same thing. But yeah. I, but to be, to, be, to be honest, I think that's good. I like it. I think that's good stuff. Personally, I, I mean, 
I, I haven't seen anything that's gotten out of hand like I have seen in the past with some of your live streams. It's, you know, it was yeah. ridiculous. Uh, yeah. uh, Mike Moreta asked, if money was no object, what hot toy figure or any collectible would you get? Um, I would get, I'll, I'll answer both. Collectible wise, there was a, uh, a couple years ago for the vintage collection, there was a uh, SDCC exclusive of a Death Star set and it came, it says like pretty honestly big it was like three or four feet tall of uh it was a death star and then you open it up and it gave you like 10 exclusive vintage collection figures inside and it was like a big display piece and i think it runs like close to 500 dollars now holy smokes yeah so i would get that and then hot toys wise uh right off the rip i would want the uh the john bernthal punisher figure i know it's probably not that expensive right now but that would that's one hot toy that I would buy if I it ever saw it. So, it looks so – did you, did you watch the yeah. Netflix series? Oh, yeah. I loved it. That's why I'm excited The Mezco's coming out with their uh, – Their, their version? Yep. Yeah, you know, John uh, uh, Bernthal, he's such a like phenomenal actor, man. Yeah. Totally, so totally bought, bought in with him with The Punisher. He's, he's, yeah. If there's no ever a movie that comes out – What's that? No one will ever be able to be the Punisher again. No, it'll, it'll be hard to uh, do him like that. It, I think if there, he's ever in a movie, if the Punisher's ever in a movie right now, in the next five, seven years, it has to be him. Yes. In my opinion. Agree, man. Nightwalker asks, what is your favorite 90s cartoon? Now, Josh wasn't born in the 90s. <laughs> yes, I was. No, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, give me a break. Born in 1999. <laughs> It was born in 1990. Oh, um, 1990. Okay. <laughs> Come on. You know, you know where I was at in, in 1990? Oh, boy. Oh, I, actually, I can't say it. It's a PG stream. So let's <laughs> move on. Um, favorite 90s cartoon would probably be the animated X Men series. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I love that. I mean, it's. Yeah. Uh... yeah. I was shaving, Josh. I was, I was shaving at that, at that point. <laughs> I was in high school. Uh, Lego, Lego Logan asked. Uh, Lego what is Logan. Your, yeah. Uh, what is your favorite Star Wars? You know, remember the guy that that dissed me earlier? Josh, like you no, yeah, which I'm doing right now on purpose, but at least I'm not on screen. I left Josh on there for you. Uh, what is your favorite Star Wars film? And other people, don't get mad. I'm just curious. And what movies are you looking forward to this year besides Black Panther? And you watched the Black Panther, right? I have not. It? Oh, so we shouldn't spoil it for you, then. I don't. It's already been spoiled. It is what it it's, is. You know what? It's worth watching. It's it's really good. I haven't seen spoiled. Black Panther or Th or Thor. Um, but I guess the, honestly, I'm I'm really excited for Infinity War. Yeah. I'm almost more excited for that than I am the Solo movie, and that's a big deal since obviously the Solo movie is Star Wars. Um, yeah. But yeah, my my favorite Star Wars movie over overall. I don't even know if that was a question, but I'm going to answer it. Um, would be Rogue yeah, One. Rogue One. Yeah, it's yeah. a good one. I love that movie. Why do you like that movie so much? I'm, just because it, it's it's not a Star Wars movie because there's there's not a whole lot of lightsabers and stuff and all that. Um, it was filmed beautifully, I think. Um, the action was great. All the characters were great. And I love how it tied in A New Hope and um, Star Wars Rebels. It, it tied in that a little bit as well, the cartoon series on Disney. And I, I'm a big fan of the, the Rebels series. So with it tying in all of that, it just... I don't know. It made the Star Wars universe better for me, but that's just uh, that's just me. Awesome, and I think your I think the Han Solo movie. Uh, I I, I want to watch it too. I'm excited for it, but I think why I am anticipating the Infinity War uh, movie more. It's because it's a little bit more iconic in the sense that here's this big event, Infinity mm -hmm. War. It is a culmination. I mean, it's been it's a it's a super popular comic book uh, arc. And Han Solo, we've already seen the main arc that Han Solo yes, is. I so agree. I think that's why I'm personally thinking, but I'm going to watch them both. Take my well, plus, family. you have everyone on screen in the Infinity War, which is a big pull for any audience, really, I would think. Yeah, for very the, true. The Marvel fans. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Uh, Brad Campbell, by the way, Brad Campbell also has uh, drop your link in the chat, Brad. Uh, Brad is very good with. Uh, with uh, anything artistic, like graphic design stuff, uh, and he he likes all sorts of figures. Uh, I, have you ever traded with Brad? By the way, yeah, yeah he actually did this. This uh, he did. Uh, yeah. He did my logo. He did my little intro card. He designed this T-shirt logo. Um, he's done a lot of stuff for me. So I. Go ahead. 
No, go ahead. I'm sorry, I cut you off. I got no, I was just gonna say that's how I traded with him. Is is he designs this stuff for me? Then I I trade him stuff or I find stuff for him. Yeah, that's really actually a, a very appropriate uh, the way that that whole. Okay, can you put it back up so people can actually see the merch? Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. I mean, it's right on the money. <laughs> it was once he sent it to me. I was like, Brad, that's it. Like, we don't have to go through any other designs. Like, let's just roll with that one. So yeah, yeah. Brad, Brad's man, and he did the the syndicate logo. I don't know. Which is he, also pretty awesome. Yeah. So he's a big shout out to Brad. He's a he's a good dude too. Very very awesome. Brad, I guess we'll have to trade in the future. Maybe when I when I reach you know, like maybe five k in about ten years, <laughs> I'll uh, Jesus then we'll we'll do a we'll do a trade and maybe I can up my 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 graphics. Your channel's doing awesome though. Enough about mine for a second. I was I was I looked at your social blade stuff, man. I was blown away. I was like, damn, this guy's like you got big time now. You're, my what? The social blade, have you ever used that? No, what is that? Uh, you go and, to should, and should I be using it? <laughs> uh, socialblade.com, you just uh, you look at your YouTube channel and it, it will tell you your daily subscribers, it'll tell you your daily views. Holy um, it just gives you like your analytics for your channel a little bit. <laughs> Hold on, Blair, I'm a socialblade.com. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right, there we go, thank you. Yeah, no problem. But uh, yeah, I looked at your okay. social blade, and it uh, and it shows how uh, your average daily subscribers. And there were some days where you were getting over like sixty subscribers in a day. Well, I know that one one of those times. Uh, I think that one time that that happened was because Fig Life Miami. They they uh, especially uh, Alex. Alex, he's got like the connects. I, I think oh, yeah. he, I think he may be running dope in Miami like big big time. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just connected to everybody down there. So he, uh, they have, uh, they have a group called the Alliance, and I think he, mm -hmm. he personally like has their phone numbers and he went. Shh. So, he, <laughs> but as you know, as you know, subs, uh, it, it's not about subs, right? It's about the the view count. So, right. you know, I'm hoping that people are interested in in the content. I, I think for me, it's been the uh, the customizing. Uh, yeah, the customizing that's kind of. Like generationally, like I look at my, I've looked at analytics and initially it was people like my age and just a little bit younger. And then it's been changing. It's been progressing over the last couple months to younger and younger viewers who are the ones that are really, you know, they're, they're, they're watching YouTube more. Right. That's, but, that's, that's good, man. You're doing hey, but good. So props I appreciate to you. That. Thank you. Yeah. And back to Brad's question. <laughs> yeah. About that. <laughs> are you planning on getting more Batman TAS figures? They are amazing. Yeah, I am. Uh, the The animated series. That's something that I've been like on the fence about for a couple of months now because I've seen them at local comic shops and everything. And um, I love that series as a kid as well. Actually, I've been watching it on Amazon Prime. Um, if you have a Prime membership, the first four seasons are free. So I've been watching that with Parker. Um, so I'm, I'm going to start diving into it. I just got to get rid of other stuff to make room because that's the point that I'm at with my collection, my collector life, is I got to get rid of some of the stuff to, to bring on new because I can't keep putting it in totes because I'm a hoarder at this point. What's TAS stand for? Uh, the animated series. Oh, the animated series. Okay. Yeah. I thought that's what it was relating to. Blucker's videos and collectibles. There's another YouTuber right there as well. If you guys are doing YouTube, put your chat, uh, put your links in the chat. That way, people can go check you out. It's it's a okay. Uh, pr promote your stuff right now. People are interested in uh, YouTube stuff, and he does like old school, kind of like uh, Kevin does on his channel. He likes to uh, bring out like figures I've never even heard of. <laughs> he asks you, can you do a video of your Toy Biz non-Legends collection? Yes. What are you referring to? <clears throat> uh, the, I think the 90s, the, 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 car, the Toy Biz card backs, the little like four-inch figures. I think he's asking about it. Yeah, I would absolutely love to do that. I've, um, I think I have like a whole tote full of them, so I would have more than enough. I have some loose too, so. If, if it's requested enough, I'll do it. I just, I want to make sure that everyone's going to enjoy it. That's for sure. By the way, there's a bunch of other guys here on uh, uh, YouTube also unboxing art. Toy Tube, AZ Legends, 480, yep. obviously yep. Foxy, uh, Dr. Pass. Oh, th these are really old questions. I, 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 it's just <laughs> taking a long time to get through it. Am I on the syndicate? Yes, I am on the syndicate. Some of these people may not even be here. We still have 67 watching. <laughs> Yeah, this is nuts. Oh, Foxy, thank you. Uh, you answered it for me. 
Mike Moreda asked if money was not. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I feel like you you answered that already. Yeah. Oops, I went too I went too far back. He asked, did someone resolve the time slot issue you two share? <laughs> well, the, the issue the yeah, it's been resolved. I gotta pick a different time slot <laughs> if I want people to come on here and watch. <laughs> because because we do we do share a lot of the you know like our fan base or yeah, same audience. Base. It's the same yeah. audience uh, because we're, we are both on the syndicate and other groups. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just a little guy. <laughs> I've been, uh, yeah, I was, I think I was one of the first uh, toy channel things to go live on like a regular basis. I remember because uh, one, of, one of Cincy's first live streams, he's like, I don't know how the hell that you go live and talk for so long. He's like, after a half hour, my mouth gets dry. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> uh, it's true. Uh, Sandman, Sandman asked, he asked, why did you unsubscribe from my channel? Did I do something wrong to him or did you just make your subscriptions private? Uh, no, I, I know that YouTube will unsubscribe people. I've, I've had that happen to my specific channel where I'll lose like 30 or 40 subscribers in a day. I don't know how to tell who I'm subscribed to at this point, but um, I'll I guess I'll look into it, man. I've been subscribed to you since like day one. And 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 here's the the bottom line: it's not. And I'll and and Harry, I'll I'll answer you personally. Uh, you, you, it's very difficult to be subscribed to everybody. I know, and uh, this is this will be a little bit of a rant, and it's not targeting. I'm just talking out loud, okay, buddy. Uh, we can't be subscribed to everybody. I, I personally can. I know that people like to do these uh, subs for sub stuff, and I usually I will not participate in those. And it's not and it's nothing personal. Uh, there's only so much time to watch. There's only so much time to uh, do your YouTube, to film it, to interact on the boards. Uh, for me personally, do customs, and then guess what? The real life stuff is like family. Like I like watching. I, like I like following you on Instagram uh, personally because I like the the wrestling. And I like the wrestling spots that you do. Go check them out on IG. Drop your IG on the on the comments. <laughs> right. Uh, so uh, and 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 honestly, I'll be subscribed to some people for a while, and sometimes they won't post, or my my desires change. And and for me personally, I like for people, if they end up unsubscribing to me, I won't take it personal unless it's like a personal issue, like what you're referencing to Josh. And I don't think. Uh, I, how can anybody have anything against you, bro? You're, uh, you're a super I, I was pretty, yeah. I've lost, uh, I think since I've started YouTube, I've lost over a thousand subscribers. Yeah. A thousand so. subscribers? Mm -hmm. Oh, so yeah. then I shouldn't get too excited about getting to <laughs> Yeah, I've lost, I think I've lost well over a thousand subscribers since I've started my channel. So sometimes it's just YouTube's glitchy thing. I mean, you see some of the biggest YouTubers they'll post and they lose like 70,000 subscribers in a day because YouTube will just go through and just randomly unsubscribe people from channels. I mean, I think, it's just an algorithm thing. I think Plastic said that he lost 500 or something crazy like that at, uh, at one point. He, uh, yeah. he recently told me that. But I, I hope uh, at least what I, what I said uh, makes sense. I, ultimately, you want people watching your, your hobby, and this is what it is for all of us, mm -hmm. uh, you know, except for some of the bigger names. Uh, you want people watching your stuff because they they share in in your likes. So I I, exactly. I wouldn't get a, I wouldn't get offended if um, if people stop watching your stuff. Mm -mm. No, nope. you'll pick up other people that like watching your stuff. Oh yeah, and that's yeah. But anyways, we're okay. no, we're not going to be long winded. What's the next question, Brock? Yeah. Come on. Oh sorry. <laughs> I just felt that needed to be said. No, I I could go on for hours about that. Uh, you guys are pushing this ho hobby forward. Love you both. Keep it up. Peace. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Adam. Uh, <laughs> okay, so Rabbit Hammer says okay. he wants nipple tassels. Josh Pence. Nipple <laughs> I saw someone say something about a Josh Pence Speedo. Uh, okay. That's the next one. Unboxing <laughs> art. Uh, when you competed, did you wear a banana hammock at any any point? Banana no, that's bo that's technically body bodybuilding. So you did um, the fitness stuff. Yeah, it was the it was with like swimming trunks, pretty much. Iron Patriot says I want Josh Penn steroids. <laughs> Jesus. When you, when you were in that shape, what what supplementation did you take? Just pretty much like obviously testosterone booster. Um, everything was tested. How many then, CCs were you taking a week? Um, I don't think I took CCs. It was pills. Pill form. Yeah. 
I, I have a buddy who uh, he's older. He's in his sixties, mm -hmm. and he works out like it, it, it is. That's his hobby, working out. He looks phenomenal. Uh, and he takes one cc uh, because his, he's low on T. And is he doctor prescribed? Yeah, it's do yeah, it's doctor yep. prescribed. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, we're I, I'm way late on all these. Um, Lego Logan wants you to make sure you check your Instagram. Absolutely. I'm I'm scrolling down. I want Josh Penn's children. Sell me your inner juice. <laughs> Jesus, man, this is art. PG. <laughs> huh? Is that what that? Oh, I didn't realize. Come on, Art. <laughs> he was on here. He should know. Come on, PG. man. Come on. <laughs> He's probably laughing right now. If you have Prime, the Infinity War figs are on sale from eighteen to twenty-two dollars each. But then mm -hmm. you have to pay. On, you have to pay tax. You have to pay tax on that and shipping if you don't have. Oh, I guess you have Prime shipping. So yeah. Thanks, Allison. That was one of my. Uh, she says she watched the, my my Ko uh, Luke Skywalker video. That was a long uh, time yeah, ago. Yeah, that was a that was a long time ago. I want Josh Pence roids. I want to get big. Iron Patriot. <laughs> I'm glad some of these, you know, uh, during these live streams, the actual stream here does not. So if you guys want your comment to remain permanent, you're going to have to make comment on the video. But these these go away, <laughs> thankfully. Yeah. Sometimes it's great that it does that. And then and then the other ones I will edit. <laughs> I have to. Night Walker, what's your – okay, I already read that. Darn it. Oh, I think he was just repeating it. Okay, I, I read your uh, 90s cartoon. Fig Life is out. Peace. Okay, I got to that. Uh, uh, okay. Sorry, I'm still scrolling down. I'm trying not no, to I'm miss. I'm trying to look too. I think I may be. Uh, so I think the last comment is Foxy. Is that what you have on yours? Um, yes, it says, who is Foxy for real? All right, so Josh, what do you say we take a couple more and we and we end? That's good. How do you feel for? Yeah. Okay, uh, so we're gonna take two two questions. Make them good. Uh, what is your favorite retro toy line from Adam uh, from Adam Eisen? Hey, and Adam, where have you been, bro? Yeah, he's where been off the map a little bit. I was asking Harry the other day in Messenger about you. Favorite retro toy line? Hmm. I won't say the Toy Biz figures, the the, the animated X-Men, since everyone knows I like that. I like the Jurassic Park line, like the old school, uh, like from the very first movie. That's uh, would that be considered retro? Yeah, I think that's I think that's considered retro enough okay. now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think uh, Blooker would tell you. That uh, that would be retro. He's got a bunch of those figures. Okay, yeah, I like that one. Fantasia, thanks for hanging out. He says, "I see you guys going to bed. This is fun, but going to church in the morning. God bless everyone." <laughs> That's right. Sunday morning begins Saturday night, and it's uh, Sunday right now for me. Uh, see, I'm going. I'm going to second service tomorrow, guys. Second service. <laughs> Unboxing art. What is your most sentimental figure for both of you? I I, I have that answer. If you need to think about it. Yeah, for me, making for me, a long-winded one. Uh, well, it's, <laughs> it, it, people have heard me talk about it before. It's uh, one of my Transformers, G1 Transformers Trailbreaker. It was the first figure that I, I remember having here. Uh, uh, that I remember my mom buying me that one. I'm not sure if it was a Toys R Us or a Kmart. I don't know what it was, but uh, I still have that figure, and uh, that, what, that was a wave of nostalgia that hit me every time I look at that figure. So that one is for me. That's all you got? You can't – no more time? Okay. Um, <laughs> um, I would probably say Karina got me a uh, – it was it was recent. It was a vintage collection, um, Republic Trooper, and she spent a pretty penny on it for me because she knew I wanted it. So that would be like one of the – if I had to pick like five figures to keep out of everything, that would be probably one of the top five, none, nonetheless. So that's probably my most sentimental one. I don't have any figures like from when I was a kid or anything, unfortunately. Uh, they just now they're blasting us with questions. Are you <laughs> are, are you good with uh, doing some more? Let's go for it. Okay. 
Uh, Allison uh, Grindstaff uh, said, "Ask, uh, did you hear about the comic book convention coming in September?" Yeah, I think it's um, I think it's the Cincinnati Comic and Toy Show in September, I believe. I might be wrong, but I know there is a Cincinnati comic show. AZ Legends wants to know what's your favorite dinosaur? Probably, uh, probably, from, uh, probably T-Rex. A T-Rex. Yeah. Did you know about uh, dinosaurs before Jurassic Park? When that movie came out, you must have been a kid when that came out, Josh. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was a right? kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I think I knew about dinosaurs uh, before then. I was shaving my back hair when that movie came out. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, Kevin Ader asks, and uh, and uh, what's what's a PP Roni? Is that? Oh something my god! Is that? Do you know Are what you that is? In the chat right now, Kevin's asking about what's a PP Roni. Is that? Uh, <laughs> was that, that your that wrestling name? name? I don't care. Karina was uh, last week on the stream. Karina kept calling herself. She's a PP Roni. <laughs> So a lot of people are referring to last week's stream that we have zero recollection of. <laughs> oh boy! Oh my gosh! So that's what that would be. Okay, I was I was I was like, oh, what is that about? Troy Roach, uh, what new Marvel Legends wave are you wanting to complete? Um, probably the Deadpool. Hmm. Wait, well, the build a figure I would like to complete Lizard, but I don't technically want all of those figures. Um, but the the Deadpool Sasquatch wave I do want all of those figures. So that's kind of a two way answer. Thanks. Iron Patriot. He says, don't forget to like and sub Brock and Josh Pence. <laughs> I think probably at this stream is that don't forget to sub Brock. <laughs> <laughs> because everybody makes me watch Josh. Uh, oh yeah. That's what I heard. Congratulations, Adam. He got his nursing license. Congrats, Adam. Hey, are you an RN? Because RNs make them, some money player. Yeah. You have me some fig money here. Yeah, I was going to say, they got that fig money. Thanks, Iron Patriot. Appreciate it. <laughs> As for Brock, <laughs> A.S. Reyes, uh, mm. Reyes uh, wanted me to get a taper fade. Okay. <laughs> and he said he would send me a figure. And he did. He sent me, uh, it was uh, like a bullseye. I got the taper fade. And I, he sent me a bullseye. It was like a, almost like a custom bullseye. Somebody used a, a bucky cap body and painted it. Wow. So yeah, so I have some fodder for my customs now. Heck yeah. Uh, what did Josh say to my question? He talked about the '90s cartoon. He said that he liked the X Men animated X Men. Yeah. Not another retro channel. Didn't know you were up in here, bro. Thanks All right. What's up, man? Craig. Uh, that's another fun channel right there. Old yes. stuff right there. By the way, I'm still looking for my the, those Wolverine claws, guys. I have an old Wolverine, like Toy Biz, small. Mm -hmm. my, my my personal figures from when I was a kid that's missing the claws, and I'm looking for the claws. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Josh is yawning, guys. No, so good. I'm good. Sorry, guys, trying until the end, but I got to sleep. Art's leaving us. <laughs> I'm just kidding. you guys in the East Coast. I don't know how you're you're keeping up right now. I'd be. We still have 67 wow. people watching. Yeah, that's a lot of. People. What's the most you've ever had on your stream? Um, I think I've peaked at like 120. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that one. You know, it, was, it was in reference to Jurassic Park. I had my first <laughs> prostate exam when Jurassic Park came out. So you're older than me, then. Is what oh you're God, that's right. awesome. Oh my God. I love the old peeps like me. It makes me feel like I'm back in, you know, in the 80s. You got it, Troy. Uh, Toy Tube asked, do you have a dream destination to go hunt at anywhere in the country? Anywhere in the country? Um, I'd like to hit the West Coast, uh, the Frankenstein, because it seems like 80% of the toy hunting community lives around that area. There's yeah. very few like east and, and central. The problem hunters. with that, Josh, is I'll tell you this. The the people there, they're obviously making a business out of it. So they're the ones that are out hunting and and, <laughs> and bringing the figs. And now all of a sudden, you know, your Mysterio that I'm looking for <laughs> doesn't cost, you know, $17.99 or $19.99. Now it's like $35, $45. Bucks, and well, we can't even pay that much money for it. No. I'll uh, keep here, an eye out for you, though. I appreciate it. I, I got people looking for me all over the place. 
it's but there's not around here i think toy biz not I, i'll say this eric uh, eric sarton he's in my area he's he's helped me out a, a few times i think i've been able to help him out like once uh, but he's a really good hunter. He finds the stuff. So he hooked me up with awesome. uh, the Mr. Fantastic. And I'm oh, thinking yeah. about uh, turning him into a plastic man. Cody and I stupidly passed up on him. We found him in Lexington uh, for twelve ninety nine, And we were like, oh, we'll come back to this Walgreens. And then on our way out, we were like, which, which Walgreens was that? <laughs> like, we couldn't even remember <laughs> which one it was. Hey, Josh, have you been uh, pulling up on those uh, – Bins yeah. and Walgreens. Have you found anything yet? I haven't found anything. I I actually uh, have done that in the past, and I've never found anything. And then Austin Collins on the Syndicate found like the mother of all halls underneath these damn shelves. And now <laughs> now it's like every hunter is out. Like I found this under the shelf, and it's it's awesome. It's like a little uh, time capsule. It's a treasure. Things. Yeah, oh man, a treasure is awesome. It's crazy. Uh, Eric Sarton, uh, one time he found uh, some retro, the retro Spidey and Wolverine for me. Uh, uh, and uh, he left them in that grate for me to come pick up. <laughs> See, I told him we were going. My, my wife actually went and she picked it up. And that's, like, that's well, awesome. And then I thought, mm, let me go check under these. And the first couple of times I found uh, as Black Series is what I found, like two years, wow. like Blue Line Black Series stuff that some people benefited from because I have none of them left. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that is in insane. I, I hopefully I can find something soon. I know since he's found stuff, um, there was someone who posted uh, on the syndicate. They opened it up and they had like six old Marvel Legends. They had like the Hulk from the Thanos wave and Anti Venom. Yeah, I saw that. I, I saw that today. I think <laughs> blows uh, my mind. Night Walker, what's your favorite toy hunt? That ooh, that I've done. Ooh. Probably the the one where I found um, Superior Venom, Ghost Rider, Carnage, and Red Suit Daredevil at a flea market for twenty five a piece. That was probably my favorite. Yeah, I didn't know that that Red uh, Daredevil was going to be so hot. I mean, I I found him in plethora when he came out. Yeah, it's just out of it's. That's what no one will ever know is just a random figure as soon as it's not on the pegs anymore it's just like oh everyone wants them yeah. so you never really know what you're going to have i mean maybe that's what i thought when i bought zuvio that he was going to be awesome <laughs> and then he didn't make it into the movie <laughs> oh my uh, God. poor guy uh ryan maiden says a lot of scalpers here in california i think that you know people scalp stuff uh er everywhere for sure oh yeah thanks uh, uh thanks harry uh harry says that uh that a toy biz uh, one of your filming that your toy biz collection would be cool. Oh yeah, I'll have to do that in the then. house says hello. What's, What's up, up team man? Uh, Ocelot asks if you could have any character made into a figure that hasn't had one in the in the in the past. Oh, in the last ten years, who would it be? Basically, an updated dream figure, and who would you want to make it? And I think he's asked that question before, and I forgot to to read. Yeah, it. no, no, no. Um, wow. Jesus. Oh, uh, I don't know. God, the 10 years I've only been collecting for two or three. Um, <laughs> dream figure, I guess I'll just go with with more of the, the prequel Black Series figures for Star Wars, like General Grievous. Um, I wish we had Mace Windu. I wish we had some battle droids. Josh, you know what you need to do? You mentioned Grievous a bunch of times already. You need to, no, no, in all seriousness, get the model kit. That is a great figure. The Bandai one? Yeah, is it? it's like it's like forty bucks, and it is worth it. It is it, it is a really nice looking figure. I guess I guess I keep holding my breath, thinking Hasbro is going to surprise us and and announce it, but I don't I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> they'll give us uh, dumb stuff before they'll give us that. I'll just say that. I hear you. Paul McGrath is fifty six, so you're definitely the elder statesman. You can almost collect on your social security player. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you a member of the AARP? Yeah, I think you're 55. I think it's 55. Good for you. Oh, he, oh he gets into movies cheaper than we do. <laughs> Frank and his one son, yep. And T-Man T -Man says, I, I think he's calling on the Lord, and he's praying for us. He says, Jesus. <laughs> this is still on? Yeah. That's what happens when you when you stream with me. Have you thought about ever having Cincy on here? I mean, I don't know if I'm oh, spoiling yeah. anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there. Long. -winded. I want to. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We. Yeah. We'd be be yeah. talking. He's a talker. You can tell. Oh, yeah. And I, I like to talk too. Exactly. But I, you know, there's a lot of people I want to have an interview. Uh, and uh, but I want to like I, I've interacted with uh, Cincy some, but not as much as you. So that's why I wanted to have you on. Yeah. And he wasn't my first sub. Cincy wasn't my first sub. Chance <laughs> was my first sub. <laughs> and next week, you know, I'm interacting with. I'll be interacting. Uh, with Eric Eisner and I've you know it's it's been great. I you know I've talked to him. Uh, he's a good yeah. dude. And Eric's a good dude. And he's you should uh, you should have a fan poll week. Of who you who I should interview? Yeah, you should you should uh it, whether it's people from the past or or people you haven't done yet. Like later on down the road, like way down, like a couple months, you should do something to see what the people want. That'd be that, kind of cool. That's actually that's a great idea. I will hold on a second. <laughs> Jesus. Great idea number two from Josh. <laughs> And oh man, where do I announce it on on my Facebook page? And, yeah. and run the poll. I there think, I yeah, I think you can do a poll on Facebook, right? I think so. You can, it, can do. you do it on your regular page, or does it have to be your like your your? Fan I think page? you can do it on your on your regular one, I believe. We'll fig you'll figure it out. It's no big deal. I better ask this question because I've seen it a couple times. Mm -hmm. Please don't hate me, guys. Uh, Stephen Daniels, who do you think dies in Infinity War? Uh, from what I've thought I've heard is, is Cap dies because his contract's up with uh, Marvel. Isn't have you it? guys, have you guys ever heard of Bucky Cap guys? Bucky Cap is a Maybe. famous Marvel legend figure. Bucky Cap, the Bucky yep. Cap body. Bucky and then I, I thought, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is done too. I thought, oh, really? I thought this is his last movie or maybe a part two. Cause there's going to be an infinity war part two, right? I believe so. I, I for some reason, I, I thought I read or heard that his contracts, he's too expensive. Is there going to be an Infinity War Part 2? If my oldest daughter were here, she would know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she knows all the actors' names, especially Thor and yeah. Captain America. Yeah, I, th I thought that I heard that Robert Downey Jr. has become too expensive to be Iron Man, and that's why they were... Yeah, can you I, get anybody else playing Iron Man? Exactly. I can't. I mean, you, I, when I think Iron Man, he's like the perfect guy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Ocelot says we need to start a hashtag Mysterio for Brock. <laughs> <laughs> we'll oh, get you one. Me. We'll get you one. Uh, eventually. Uh, and I think you're right. I think Captain is going to die because of that. <laughs> Team Man 97 it says he liked this video of two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> How long have we been going? Do, do you have a, a timer? I'm sure okay. it's, it's, somewhere? it's somewhere. Let me see. I'm looking. Uh, I, I don't think it says it right on right now. Right now? Okay. No big deal. Oh, wait. Mm, no, I tried. I tried, guys. Let me read the questions. <laughs> if you could have any character made into a figure that has... Okay, you already answered that. My bad. Mm -hmm. Shh, shh. Child. Shh. <laughs> child. That was my middle one, getting some paper from the computer. Just kidding. <laughs> uh uh okay i think i think we're we're at the end of questions so i think this is pro but what would make you stop collecting um finances anything else um do you ever see yourself selling everything no i don't think i could sell absolutely everything i mean as a whole collecting no but collecting certain things yes like for instance pops like i'm phasing out of that and i'm selling them and i've sold quite a few black series and, and legends lately but i don't unless it was some financial thing i don't think i could ever just like have an open house and be like all right come buy all my stuff like it just it would be too hard for me to do that what if what if karina says it's me or the figs well, since she's currently asleep on the couch, I'm just going to go with the figs. Oh, dirty, dirty. Because <laughs> I know yeah. she won't watch this far into the stream. Well, somebody, somebody's <laughs> going to record it, and she's going to she's going to get it. Exactly. It, it goes back to the whole thing of this is why you don't completely tell how you feel, because people will take those snippets <laughs> and completely ruin it. <laughs> so, so, so since she's sleeping, uh, so when are you going to pop the question play? When are you, you going to do it? I think, hold on, I think the audio is cutting out. What would you say? <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Copy. <laughs> Understood loud and clear. Gotcha. Uh, oh man. Okay. I think uh, I think we're good to go. They're agreeing with me good. with uh, Bandai Grievous kit. 
and then and they're saying, yeah, definitely capture the audio. Yeah. So Josh, <laughs> uh, Josh, I want to thank you uh, for thank you, man. joining me uh, today. It was a fan. I loved it, it, it and it felt like we. It was just having a conversation. Yeah, that's all it was. It was awesome. We should have been drinking glasses of milk. I mean, you know. <laughs> I had a couple. I had a couple. I also want to say thank you to all the uh, Josh Pence people that have come over and watched this live stream. I hope you enjoyed it and you got to know the person you follow a little bit better. Uh, Josh, why don't you sign us out of here? Um, what do yeah. you usually say in your live streams? Because this um, is essentially your live stream right now. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> buy, buy my merch. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, oh, see, now, now you're going to get the trolls, bro. The, 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 <laughs> yeah, the way it's a very... No, just uh, thank you guys, obviously. Um, Brock, thanks for having me, man. Uh, once again, dude, hopefully we can do this again in the future. Um, yeah, and all the 66 people watching, I love you all. You guys are the best. For those of you who came over from my channel, thank you very much for uh, putting up with us and all of this uh, long-winded answers like I'm doing now. So I'm going to end it. May the fix be with you. I love you guys. And that's it. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. Well, thank you again. And next week, next Saturday, I haven't picked the time slot yet, but it, it, it will not be during Josh's live stream. I can guarantee you that. I will have none other than Eric Eisner, and we will be talking ACBA. So if you want to find out what articulated comic book art is all about, come check us out, players. Catch you on the next one.